Okay, so we're back and we start directly where we left off, inside of Classy Clandor's mansion. The mirage um, from Rasa has fallen and you do not currently see her, but you are standing over the top of Green-Eyed Trombonus Layla's body bleeding out on the ground and Serenity Valley, um, the young scientist man who in that world had basically syringe arms uh, also dead on the ground, uh, and it's just you all. Oh. And Ron, of course. I'm gonna reach out with my group link and see if I can talk to Raza. Okay, go for her. it. Go for it. Five. Uh, roll that with a d12. Six. Total? Yeah. So you rolled a one? Mm, there's just too much interference. Uh, currently, there's so many different electrical supplies and things that Clandor has set up in this place that you're having a hard time get through, getting through all the interference. Now, don't forget, there were a lot of people that you lost track of. Um, there is still somewhere in this mansion, Javier, who called you and warned you of the trap that was being placed for you. And you also uh, showed up with a mane of luxurious long hair um, to help me craft some things. So he's around oh, somewhere. Oh, yeah. Uh, I, can't, I can't reach her. You guys, I can't feel Raza in here. What about Classy? Well, yeah, but I mean, uh, I think I think that guy, that like dollar store James Bond guy, took her. Okay, we we we're going to need to find Classy, and we're going to need to find Antonio, and we're going to Javier. <laughs> We gotta find Javier, and we have to find. <laughs> Look, I'm under a lot of stress. I, I, I did. I, I don't know. We need to find right Carlos here. and <laughs> this <Wow>. Luke. <laughs> you, you really, you just said we need to find Luke. Luke. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but we need to find Classy, and we, we need to find. We gotta. We, we just need more allies right now because. We have to save Raza because if Mr. Dollar Store James Bond messes with her in any way, she might, who knows? Okay, so let's. Uh, Would let's she be back, back at the plane? Should we go back to the plane and take a look? I say. At least, I think we should split up. Yeah. Okay. Okay, uh, I don't I know if uh, splitting up is a good idea, guys. We don't really know how many more people they hire. That guy mentioned he was hired, right? Yeah, you're yeah. right. Should, uh, can you turn into like a dune buggy or um, even just like one of those? A drone! A drone? I'm not a transformer. Or like no. one of those motorized scooters? Can, with wings though, that can overlook things. I'm not a transformer, I'm a dude. <sighs> okay. I'm a, well, I'm a I'm a man who happens to not be human. How's that so hard to understand? No, we get it. You're a man, but like, you know, sometimes I draw stuff and like little knives come out and poke people. Then you, why don't you draw a drone? All right. Mr. Picky. Oh, Karen, make sure it has like wings so it can... I'm gonna do like a little helicopter drone. I know what helicopters look maybe, like. Maybe Noah, while she draws, you can probably do a scan for classy. Make sure you give it eyeballs. Yeah. <sighs> yeah, All right. thank you. I do have to get an eyeball. Uh, I'm gonna try and roll again to find, see if I can feel anyone. Classy or Javier. Go for it. Nine. So you're able to um, kind of feel within the vicinity that Clandor is actually just a couple rooms down, still tied to a chair, and you can feel him struggling Ouch. and trying to break free. And uh, Javier is currently in Classy Clandor's office trying to break into his safe. <laughs> God, okay. All right, uh, Classy's actually just a couple doors down. Uh, does anyone want to go with me? I got a yeah. okay. pick. Let's go. All right, and when I run down to where he is. Okay, so you, you three go, yep. and you two are still standing at the doorway over the two dead bodies. Have you have you finished drawing? It's just it's just a drone. You could have literally folded a paper airplane by now. What are you doing? I'm look. I have to channel the beginning of Mash, or I don't know what a helicopter looks like. <laughs> Why are you drawing a helicopter? Because it's a drone. It's a little tiny. And I have to do a camera. It has to be very specific, or it's not going to work. 
Don't don't forget to draw a remote so you can see what the camera is seeing. Thank you. So I will make sure that I draw Wi-Fi. can't you fly? <laughs> I can float. <laughs> <laughs> and you've never thought about adding means of sort of control to that? Well, I tried swimming in the air once and it didn't work out. <laughs> it's probably because I don't know how to swim. <laughs> Any luck on that drone? Uh, still getting there. Great, Wings. so we go back to you three walking down the hall. As you, uh, okay. as you kind of open the door, you see it's kind of actually propped open already. Clandor sitting there, tethered. Oh my, I'm so glad you came. You'd rescue me, of course. Is... Go ahead, untie I'll me. I'll rescue okay. you. We gotta yeah. make a better deal. <laughs> oh, a better deal. Yeah. Yeah, you're not really in the shape to like, you know, hold anything over our heads right now. A man's kidnapped, nearly killed. You rescue him and then ask him for more money than he's already paying you. No. Just give the power group back to me. You want me to sign them over? Yeah. Deal stays the same way. You just give me the power group. What? What? No, screw both of you guys. No, Listen, no, no, you no, 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 just, 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 just. That's what you did to me. Oh, shut up. You're not, we're you not. You put me in a corner. You made me do it. I want the power group back. I'm using my force suggestion to make him shut up. Okay, roll against it. <laughs> what are you, what am I rolling? Uh, your action against her okay. power. God damn. Um, is it just? It's just your, it's just, power. it's just your power. Six. Ah, uh, oh, damn, I got a four. Oh, get out! Uh. Just say yes. We got a deal. Technically, Article Two, Section B. You guys are just wasting our time. Seriously. Do you want the power group to always be in this man's hands? I don't want it to be in your hands. I'll give it back to everybody else. No, you won't. I know you. You don't know me. No, There's I'm pretty sure I do. There's a kidnap clause that you should have seen when you looked over the contract. <sighs> It states that you're binded to saving me in these exact kind of situations. So what if we don't save you? Yeah. Then you don't get paid, the contract is null and void, and I will sue you for everything you have. But you're dead. Then what if you die and then we're just sitting right here conveniently in your mansion? You do remember I'm filming everything, right? Fine! <sighs> Fine! <laughs> I, w I walk over to him. And I untie him. Do you know who's after us? Like, who, who are these people in here? No. But I think you do. Do we? Do you? I mean, yeah, kind of. But, uh... Please tell me, who are they? Someone that has a vendetta against us. Why? Like, what did you do? We didn't actually do anything. We're good people. It's just everyone thinks that we're bad, or and or they want to abuse our powers. And Go they... on. <sighs> Look, there's a little girl that's missing that we need to find. And I don't have time for this. And I just walk out of the room. I could have helped her, but you know. I made a helicopter. So we cut back <laughs> to the front entrance. Go ahead and roll. <laughs> I, I'm gonna give you a plus two for the detail of that drawing. It's detailed! Oh, I see. It's so detailed! Oh, well, you're right. Oh, it's happy. It has eyelashes. It's a woman. <laughs> Roll your damn dice, woman! Come on! <laughs> Where's my plus? Your Where's power my plus with eight? A, your power with a d12. No, no, I know. I can't find my plus eight. I'm stealing yours. Add two to your roll. Ooh, 14. 16. Okay, so um, tell me what happens. Um, so a tiny little drone-like creature and a remote pop out of my notebook. Okay. Um, and the drone pops out um, and is like, hello, I am a drone. I sound like a robot because that's what drones sound like. What, uh. what, why, why, why would, no, what? <laughs> No, but robots do not sound like that. That's Siri, what robots sound like. Siri does not sound like that. Siri is a poser. Okay, and I take out my my um my remote, um which has 
buttons and like a little button in the front. And I'm like, okay, um, we need you to go towards the airplane and just show us here on the video screen on the remote what you see. Can you do that? Probably. And then it starts like, it goes up. Okay, so the drone like goes up into the air. Uh -huh. And you're having it just survey the mansion or outside. I'm having it go down to the, like go in the, the path of the plane. Direction of the plane. Uh, on its way down there, you don't see anything except a lone chair just sitting out there in the field. And that's it. And not the plane? Well, you see the plane, but there's okay. no one there. What do you see? <sighs> just like a chair. Oh, fucking Davlin. I should have swallowed him, kept him in there. Should I buzz him? Yeah, hit him. <laughs> and so I direct the drone to go to the chair and just like, zoom, zoom, And just zoom. start buzzing around the chair. <laughs> it just, and then like taps him. Tap, 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 zoom. Can you roll your action for me? <laughs> <laughs> Six. You crash your drone into the chair <gasps> oh, no. uh, as the chair hits the ground and just kind of like falls over and doesn't move. You just kind of see when your camera, like you see the little camera, you see like <laughs> as it hits and slams into it. Okay, well I, um, because I was smart enough to draw a speaker into it, <laughs> so I yell through the camera on the chair, Davlin, get your creepy ass up! No, the drone's destroyed. <sighs> what? Poor little buddy, he never even had a chance to live. <sighs> I will call him Droney. <laughs> <laughs> he will be my friend forever. How do we so get to Rosa, guys? So we go back guys? into the room with Classy Klandor currently tied up in the chair. Uh, Noah has left the room. Uh, give us five grand extra a month. Just come on, dude. As he's got his arms kind of tied. Okay. Make it look good. It's hard to drink that way. Take out Kion. Make it big. Okay. Make it spectacular. All right, all right. And you'll get your 5K a month and even more. Oh, yeah? Save the girl. Yeah? Make it big. Dramatic. Okay, all right. Like explosions or just like emotional? Emotional. Oh, Make it personal. Oh, okay. I don't know this guy, though. At least I don't think he does. I mean, he kind of hurt us really bad. Stabby, stabby. <sighs> All right. You want the dramatics. I got you. Can you do that? <laughs> oh, boy. I sure can. You have a deal on time. So I uh, start to untie him, and I fumble with the knot. It's, it's, uh, just, just untie it. Really tight. It's, it's really not tight. that difficult. They tied it really tight. I don't, you know. It's like... Rin, He's, can you please cut it. the rope off of me? I don't have a knife or yeah. anything. I, I got it. All right, I got it. Let me do this. Let me do this. Can they're, you roll for me, <laughs> since this is uh, becoming a, a thing? They're uh, just in the room next door. Roll right? your action with the d12. Hey, what are you guys doing? What, hurry the hell up. Hello? Hello? Uh, <laughs> 17. You untie it. <laughs> I got it, I got it. Don't worry, we didn't need any knives or anything. Got you. Great, thank you. Oh, so much better. I was really worried. How did they, how did they kidnap you? What happened? Oh, I mean, they overpowered Nomti and, Good. You know. Don't you have like a defense system in place? Yes, in but somehow like they got through it, but thankfully, you all came running to my aid to be the hero, save the day. You're welcome. Let's go save the girl, shall we? Let's go. <sighs> all right, let's find out where I have a feeling is. he's somewhere in the mansion. Is there any weird places that he, you showed him that he would be? Hmm. Let me check the security room. Guys, are we still great? Are we still connected through the thing? I don't know. Roll for it. How do I roll for it? You don't. Oh. <laughs> With a d12. Eleven. Yeah, you you are still connected to the group link for whoever wants to be in that group link. Hey, who's in the who's in the thing? 
Jake. I am. Jake. I am in the group link. You're in the group link. You're in the room with, with uh, Creepo? No, I'm staring right at you. <laughs> <laughs> Jake! 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 What the? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. Wait, wait, wait. Are they, are they hearing you singing in your mind? You have to fucking put your hair. I mean, you have to put your. Well, what about the basement? What's happening in the basement? I don't know. Your lover friend is probably with all there. the shackles and stuff. You're like artist dude. Okay, Maybe. well let's check on him. Let's go. Yeah, Why are you guys go. doing the thing with your? Uh... Your hands on well, your head again. We were trying to get to the, the rest. Are you, are you back out in the front yeah. with these two? Yeah. We were trying to Wait, get Wait, why did you do a group link? They're all right there. <laughs> because we're trying to we're trying Jake. Who's in the other room? Oh. We're out of the room. We were trying <laughs> to get our friends who are not listening and have zero priorities right now. Um, in my fit of rage, I'm going to roll for Marinette. To for <laughs> oh, shit. What? I'm tired of people messing with me. I got a 10. I got a nine, so. Nice. Hi, Marionette. What are you, what, what are you doing? I want candy, and I want it now. Okay, I'm going to go check on. Uh, yeah, hi, go I'm Ron. Do you have candy? Oh, you meant literally. Yes. Duh. I want candy. I don't like men. I don't care about you. Do you have candy? What if I told you? You're already too slow. Where's my candy? Here, I have your candy because unlike men, I can be counted on. And I start giving her some candy that I've had like some of the candy I have. What? You're the dirt worst. Where's that little girl that we're supposed to be saving? No one really wants to save that little girl. We were gonna go look in the basement. Is that where she is? We don't know. We don't know. Fine, let's go to the basement. Anybody know where the basement is? Probably under, Ron. DK. So I, so I just go down to the sex dungeon. No! <laughs> <laughs> you don't know where it is, but it's underneath you. Do you mind? Uh, oh. Okay, I was just gonna use these stairs, but I guess. You don't know where it is. Uh, Bye, bye. Oh, With a d12? Uh, that is 11. Roll again, both of them. That is 11. Are you serious? Yeah. Roll again. <laughs> <laughs> no. The chances. No way. 14. Okay, I got a 12 that time. <laughs> um, no way. So you get hard <laughs> and just crush through the floor. Um, revealing below, just kind of falling onto a bed of pillows mm. and a bunch of red kind of velvet stuff. And you know, you look around you and there's chains on the walls and all sorts of fun stuff. That's a way land, to... And you guys can see the hole in the floor revealing the sex dungeon below. DK, are you okay? Yeah, yeah, this, uh, this velvet bed broke my fall, I'm done. That seems really convenient, but I'm happy it happened. Yeah. Is anyone else in there? No. Doesn't seem like anyone else is in here. Wait. Is there candy down there? Uh, I just hopped down in it. Okay. Do you want to roll your intellect for me? Yeah. Flavored lube doesn't count as candy. Oh, I get to do one up because I'm there and that. Mm. Uh, doesn't matter because I got a four. That's fine. I rolled a two. Uh, you see a drawer that you can smell the candy kind of flavor coming out of. And you go over and you open oh, the drawer and you see a whole bunch of edible panties. <laughs> <laughs> have you have you tasted these? No, no, you, I, no, I'm, oh, what is this this liquidy substance? Oh, oh, no. No. It's strawberry <laughs> <laughs> and cherry. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, 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 At least the panties no, are like fruit no, roll up. Have you tried this? You must no, try no, it. No, 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 no. <laughs> and I spray lube, strawberry lube on them. You oh, might, you. I'm oh, so sleepy. I'm so sleepy, my face. <laughs> it's so oh, it's it's too. So, you you oh, must it's... try this. <laughs> I have. I'm good. And chocolate. Oh, so much chocolate. Oh, hey, guys. As Javier from the corner is kind of sitting there reading a book on the other side of the room. Have you tried this? And I squirted. <laughs> 
<laughs> Actually, yes, I have. I've been down here for a while because you left me here and I've been living off this stuff. Oh, no! Oh, gross. So sugary. Just don't eat too much of it at once. It doesn't digest well. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, I'm guessing you didn't come to rescue me and just happened to like fall upon no, this No, no, we actually came to find you. Get the fuck out, really? Yeah, yes, yes. Uh, we wanted to know if you had any leads on any of this. Mm -hmm. I mean, kind of. Okay, dope. But I've been able to piece together. So, would you be able to tell where, tell us where maybe that James Bond type dude might run off to if he were to steal a superpower side little girl? Uh, no. Because okay. I'm just a person and not some omnipresent force that can tell where anyone is in the world at any given time, but I can tell you. Huh. I overheard a lot of what was going down and decided to come down here and hide out because there was no clear way out. And Numpty's down here, so I figured if, as long as I was around that guy, I'm probably safer. Oh, um, Numpty's okay. That's a relative term. He's been shot numerous times. Bleeding. I patched him up a little bit. Oh. He's in the bathroom. And you, uh... Okay, I, I'll go and I go check on Numpty. So you walk over to the bathroom and you start to see like a trail of blood as you like get over towards it. And you start to open the bathroom and it's just one big giant kind of like tile room with a bunch of shower heads at the top and not really anything else. And you just kind of see him over in the corner with the shower on him as he's bleeding out all over the floor and he still has all of his kind of like fatigues on and everything. Numpty, are you okay? Clendor, <clears throat> we saved him. Kill him. <laughs> what? Just kill him. What Twisted. What, what happened? What do you mean? He got, just, I got shot for a fucking movie. What? And his eyes go dark. As Why do they always kinda... die before they give you all the information? I'm still, by the way, I haven't gone through the hole because I'm not marionette or a dude that can float. So I'm just like, at, like at the top looking into the hole. Okay. Uh, hey guys, we, uh, everything okay? Yeah, oh yeah, Numpty was in here and uh, he, he died while giving us some very... Whoa, 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 he just died? Yeah, he straight up died. Oh. Did you think... Us, the he was shower, my protection! Did you think the shower was going to magically heal him? He went in there on his own, I didn't... You didn't I'm, check on him? He wanted some peace and quiet, he was bleeding he's, everywhere. He seemed very happy to see another face when I came in there. He wanted... He shut the door, I'm not gonna... Oh, okay. That's fucked up, Zach! No, come on! No, it's Javier! That's fucked up, Zach! Look, if you're dying, you're bleeding out all over the ground and stuff, and you're like, hey, I'm going to the restroom, and you shut the door. Do you think he was just barging on somebody like that? Yeah, okay. He was... What did he say? Well, he started to say that we should kill Glandor. Uh, oh, yeah, totally. Okay, why do you want to kill classic Glandor? Well, he, like, hired those guys. What? What? I told you guys it was a trap. Yeah, but like the, you, but the, you, I thought they set the trap. Clandor set the trap. What? Yeah. You should have... That was information we did not get from that. What do you mean he set the trap? Oh, I see. I said he's been kidnapped. It's a trap. Yeah. I should have said he kidnapped himself as a trap. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that would have been good. Look, the heat of the moment, there were people with guns everywhere, stuff yeah. was going well, on. Well, because of you, we un untied him. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, he's no longer apprehended. Well, he's not going to kill you. I mean, maybe. It depends. Is he still up there with me? Who? Classic Landor. You're in, they're in a whole other oh. room. You're, you're on your own up there. Do you, do you have any more information about what this trap was supposed to be? Well, considering things I can hear through the walls of the sex dungeon that you all left me in, um, just really likes the movie he's been making. And wants a big dramatic finish. 
that he needed you guys for. Come blazing in. Save the day. Kill the bad guys. Save him. Oh. All right. We will we'll deal with him later. We have to find Raz now. So I'm gonna deal with him now. And I like <laughs> I grab some edible panties and stuff them <laughs> for later. And I run and I jump up on the um, the bed, the velvet whatever bed, and like try to <laughs> <laughs> myself up. So you just kind of like, <gasps> yeah. you jump up in there. So she comes flying up. Yeah. Wow. She just kind of lands next to you. And there's like panties floating up with me. Glad that wasn't a water bed. Where's this cl uh, classy? Classy. I want classy now. We cut back to you three as you're walking now on the opposite side of the mansion. As he's kind of leading you along. Yes, just a little bit further to the security room, and then I'm sure we can find him wherever he may be. We have cameras over the entire house. Everything's filmed. Everything. Well, we figured that. It's so weird that you were able. These people were able to sneak into your house with with cameras everywhere. Like, how, well, what Numpty happened? Well, Numpty put up a good fight, but unfortunately, he was taken out in battle. He's dead. Is Numpty your only yes, defense mechanism? Yes. He was shot many times. Who it's, shot him? These these people that came busting into our house. They seem to know you. There seems to be some sort of history there. I'd love mm -hmm. to know more. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Who who was the girl and the she came in a like a Girl Scout uniform. I don't know why. She was trying to trick me into buying cookies and then just bust in. So well, sad. She looked like she was only sixteen or seventeen years old. Man, that sucks. She's dead. No. Yeah, she's dead. My She was a big old tree. <laughs> I turned into a big shears. And I tried to cut her in half. I didn't do it. No, wait. What? What are you talking about? Well, you know the, the girl that we rescued? Did you have, you know, we went to go rescue? Raza, right? Yes. Well, we brought her back. And she turned everything into cookie cookie fun town. Right, I remember that. But the, sadly, the cameras don't capture. What are you, what are you talking, what are you, what are you saying? That world, the cameras don't see it. What does that matter? Yeah, what's... Okay. What's going on? To the cameras, it's just gonna look like you shot a Girl Scout cookie person. Excuse me? Who? It's going to look like you just murdered a teenager wearing a Girl Scout uniform. Why does that it's matter? It's gonna take a lot of editing. Don't... Editing? What are you talking about, yeah, man? Yeah, don't use... what. What's the footage for anyway? Like, you're making a documentary? Like, why? About you all, of course, to clear the name of Syots for all. To show you as heroes. Well, just cut that part out. Yeah. I've cut out a lot of parts. <laughs> yeah, have you Lots been feeling like parts. everything we One where she just shot a man in the back of the head, point blank. You, you saw that? I saw everything. I see everything. I was trying to contact you during that time. It was the only option mm, I had. I was being held hostage. Oh, okay, sure. Okay. You could have at least replied somehow. Did, uh, I was being held hostage. I was if you were out. watching, you could have replied. Moving on. You, you didn't get the, the part between me and uh, <clears throat> this is the guy. We Your lover? Him. The no, long lost no, lover? You didn't the get man? That, no. From the same town that the girl who the Girl Scout uniform was in? The drama, it just thickens. It's just, oh, it's so good. Did you get him rejecting me in front of everybody? <laughs> Jay. What? I wouldn't dare embarrass you. You promise me right now. Technically, you signed away all of your rights. As a man and man, you fucking promised me. <laughs> well, I would No, no, shut up! Don't you wear that to everybody. You tell me you're not gonna put that to everybody. I'll send a note down to the editing bay. Okay, you can write that note. Go ahead, I'll wait. What are, you, what are you going to send it on? Are you going to we'll, send it on a piece of paper? Once or? we get to the security room, we'll be able to send it right over. Okay. I, man to man, thank you. Thank you. Uh, fine. Hmm. Let's go! How far are we from the security it's room? It's right here. Let's just... <laughs> so Takes his palm and puts it up to the, the reader as it scans his palm and the door opens. As you step inside, it's completely empty, but there's cameras everywhere. Whoa. 
Well, okay, let's just start rotating through here and see if we can find the missing girl. This is a very anticlimactic way to do it. Are you sure there's not some other way that could work better? What does it matter? What about your telepathic friend, Noah? Couldn't she just find the girl? Yeah, but, you know, her powers are kind of, you know, they're all right. What do you mean? Sometimes they don't work. Ugh, so much on the cutting floor. Yes, here she is in the library, standing next to a very long shadow. Most definitely she's being held at gunpoint. He moves through the shadows. So cool, man. Let's do it. You don't want to go running in there. You want it dramatic? You want it robust? I need you to survive. This is Johnny. Johnny. Jay. 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 Hey, Jay. 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 I don't think he's in here with us. No, you better. Jay, look. Oh, let me try something. Some marionette is coming your way, so you better be listening up. She's probably what? gonna bust what? through that what? door, and I don't know what she's gonna do to classy clan door, so you better get ready to. I don't know. What? I only heard the last piece of that. Jay. Hello? Hey. Jay. Yeah. Classy. He he did all of this. He held himself hostage. Hold on. Hey. Hold on. We need you to roll. <laughs> and Jay. Owl, and Jay is plummeted to a dark void and then an owl comes out. <laughs> what do you want me to roll for? I need you to roll your ability. Okay. It's okay when he's ignoring you, but now that you're uh, actually getting through to him, I need you to roll for that. Four. No, you can't get through. Something that he's standing next to, or some something is creating an interference that you just can't seem to get through. Cutting in and out. Didn't hear any of that. So I'm gonna continue being me. Sorry, it's stuck in my head now, guys. I don't know what to... I float up to go next to Karen. <laughs> okay. Karen? Uh-huh. We need to find Raza. Did we go to that? We... But she's not out by the plane, so she has to be somewhere in here. I say we explore. Okay. I know that there's some kind of security room. I don't know where it is. We don't have time for that. I think we need to go on foot, look. Bust door to door, I don't care, but I'm not going through this back and forth J singing weird songs from the nineties, Noah eating panties. And you know, I, I we need to find this little girl. Okay. So let's go. You be the muscles and I'll be the person that goes with you. Alright. <laughs> so I like go back to normal size and storm out. Okay, so you start looking around. I'm gonna have you roll your intellect okay. for me. Both see if us? you see any clues. No, nah, just him. He initiated with a d12. Okay. Uh, 19. Damn. Okay. Uh, you notice um, this weird kind of like footprints that appear every once in a while on the kind of dust covered floor in certain areas that disappear the second they get next to a shadow. And you can kind of like, as you look up, you can kind of track that they just kind of like reappear every once in a while. And then you see another trail of footprints leading directly through them of that of a young barefoot individual, small. Mm -hmm. uh, so you start following those. We cut back into the security room as he's kind of looking. Okay, so, oh dear. Oh, hmm. It looks like your friend Noah is headed this way, and... Mm. Why is that an oh dear? Mm, the way she's walking. Oh no. It, oh, probably yes. Marinette. Yes. Is there other enemies? Like, is that only the shadow guy? Like, who else is here? He's all that's left, yes. You killed the other two individuals. Was, really? You were this, they stormed this place with three people, and your defense systems didn't kick in to protect you. How easy was it for you? 
it was pretty easy, but you know, you wanted me here. Yeah. yeah. I'm saying, how easy was it for you to kill them? This individual should not be underestimated. This Kayun, he's clever. Mm. <clears throat> All right. From what I've gathered, he's quite the spy. So just an infiltrator that can move through the shadows. Security systems can't catch someone like that. He came in and shut down my system so the others could then make their way in. Makes sense, let's go. Wait. What? And he hits a button and the door to the room closes. What, what, why'd you do that? Because of this one. And you arrive at the door that you just saw close. And I try to punch through it. Go ahead and roll your uh, action as you hear a loud boom on the other side of the security door. Mm, oh no. Am I doing it just my action? Yeah. Oh, I got a four. This is not a good night for me. Yeah, uh, you just hear a loud boom as you see on the uh, on the security camera from the hallway as Noah's just punching this door. What's yes, going? so she seems to be possessed. He set this up! Uh, I'm gonna have you roll for that. Sure. Yeah, that's a blast proof door probably. <clears> same <throat> same thing, my... my... Uh, I'm gonna have you roll your intellect. <laughs> no. A one on a d20. Mm, nice. <gasps> um, just, you just hear the boom of the door. You can't hear anything you else. I need a plot point. You My person can't move at all. You don't, you don't want that in here. Is there no, no way I've out of seen here? firsthand what it can do. Uh, Very scary. But why is she, like... Yeah, Who why knows? She I've, seen her, I've seen her brain flip. And she's uh, just... It's, like an intercom, I can things. it's probably just it. because I'm an attractive man. Mm. She's intimidated by me. Yeah, and my money and He money. set this up! <laughs> Uh, Is there an intercom where I can tell her to calm down? Oh, of course. Here. It's one way. <laughs> oh. <laughs> no, why are you tripping right now? He set this up! Well, what? what I, he you just see her like hostage. waving on the security camera. Look, you just need to chill out. He said, I like throw the panties at the <laughs> just, oh, camera. Oh, are those edible panties? <laughs> Are those Looks yours? like she's been to the edible. sex dungeon. Noah, are those yours? Oh, or yeah? Why are you throwing your panties at us? Yeah. Oh. That. <laughs> she, oh, God. So he, he you're pointed, pointing. The, you're the, pointing at the door? Obviously, what? she's Shoot, gone with crazy. With a gun? Marionette Cla is okay, not classy, to be trusted. A classy. Okay. Okay, that's classy. With a gun? Okay. Gun. Shoots guns. He's shoot, gonna shoot me. Us? Okay. Maybe. I don't even have a gun on me. I don't understand what she's he saying. He doesn't have a gun on him. Why would he shoot us? Class, okay, okay, enough class. of this. You need to save the girl. Obviously, the possessed All right, wait, one. We is gotta being go. Possessed. This is fun, but we're gonna go. Like, we gotta go save until Raza. Until you can just be Raza's chill. Raza's in the library with the shadow guy. I think she means to kill me. Why? Oh, <laughs> she does. Why do you want to kill? Classy? I don't know how she heard that. I <laughs> Why does she want to kill you? Look, she needs to calm down. Because she hates men, especially <laughs> men with power. That makes sense. Yes. Let's get out of here. Let's let her calm down. Yes. And let's go rescue She her. just needs to calm down. Don't tell her that, though. It might just make hey, her more angry. No, will you just calm down? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. no, Noah, Noah, go to the library. Go go get Raza. Raza's in the library with the shadow guy. And, and be I careful. take off. Oh, oh, okay. okay, bye. So you take off. Mm. Uh, that was our moment. Uh, I don't know why you said Noah. Yes, she's, it was she, his moment. You were, you, she's just gonna rip that guy's head off? Yeah, and she has the ability to rip his head off. I mean, go! Now, you need to, to catch to up go. to her. It's like, your own moment. It it's your time to shine. We need to go! Let's go. Uh, just make sure you're facing the north side. The window's in there. They do wonderful work. What? The north side. Just your face, oh, just the pointing to the north. You'll notice she's kind of in the corner. There's a window that's bringing the light in as he hides in the shadow. Oh, it's a, just... Stand right right in that beam of light. You want to for the camera. Got it. Uh, let's go. Yes, of course. And he opens the door as you go running out. Right and then he shuts the door behind you. Okay. That and then you hear cool. him over the intercom. Don't forget, I'll be watching you. you I'm, I'm with him, right? Yeah. Yeah. Dun, dun. So you two start running your way towards the library. Um, Wait, which way is the library? Is which, it left? Which way is the library? <laughs> Wait, how, we're on the second go floor right now. Go straight and then take we... a left. Okay. okay. 
Left. Okay, now there's three hallways here. Which way do we go? Just keep going straight. Okay, okay going straight. Keep going straight. Oh wow, look at that bathroom. I said the north window. It's on the north side of the building. If it's facing north, just keep going north. I don't know which way north is. Uh, yeah, like do people just know that? Yes, of course. <laughs> okay. Right now, I'm facing northwest. Oh, oh, we can't see so you. So which face, which way are we facing? <laughs> right now you're facing southeast. Oh, okay. So, so like, I'll just turn around. Uh, yeah, do we turn around? So I way. thought we were supposed to go this way. So are we going that way now? Or just, okay, we're going to go down this hallway then. No, yes. never mind. Uh, just take a right and keep going. Okay, okay we're taking right. Okay. <laughs> All right, so you, you start to see, at the end of the long corridor, you start to see what resembles um, a bunch of books and things like that. And you have followed the footsteps to start bringing you to the opposite end of that library as you guys are kind of coming to, you know, it's like a 90 degree angle and, you know, basically there's So you've got this room here, you guys are coming in this way, DK and Karen are coming in right here with and me. with Ron. You went a different way and I will like say you I did. <laughs> you didn't know where you were going. I did. I felt it. Okay. Uh, <laughs> you didn't even let me roll for it. You didn't ask. Well, that's you just why said you ran I felt off. it. <laughs> I ran off towards the library. Go ahead and roll your intellect for Thank me. Thank you. Mm -hmm. With the d12. Not that it matters. <sighs> Come on, hands. Come on, hands. I got fifth. No, I got 17. So, you are coming in on the second floor, overlooking this area as you make your way up, and you can kind of see her down below. You don't see anyone else, you just see her, and you all kind of come into this room at the same time. As you see Raza standing there, as she's kind of got her hands close to her face. Oh my god, Raza. Don't worry, Raza. Let me stand in the light, excuse me, and I make my way towards the light. Okay. Are you okay? So you just walk straight in? Yeah. You just walk straight in there. Yeah, straight <laughs> I, in. Hang, I hang behind him. Just a little bit. Stop! Don't take another step! Who said that? Look. Look, sir. We know Classic Glendor hired you. The gig is up. What? How do you know who hired me? Because Wait, I don't even know who hired me. Okay, well I know who hired you, and the the jig is up. No no need to with the theatrics. Just pack your bags, go. He'll probably still pay you. Classy Clandor hired him. We what, were what? trying to. We were doing a whole womp womp. Yeah, we were trying you hear to. Over the intercom. What? No. Yeah, no. Don't worry. I did not hire this man. Yeah, he came no. to kill me. No, no. Zach sold you out. He was able to hear everything from the sex dungeon. That man. Yeah. Oh, God, where is Javier, by the way? He's not with you. Well. Uh, so. I did no such thing. So what's oh. the point of us doing this then? But. That's why Jay, I'm telling this guy. He can five leave. feet forward, Jay. One, two, three, four, five. Jay! So I said stop. Well, the girl dies. Hey, man. You want to mess with us? Did he tell you to go after the girl? Did this guy, the, the voice in the intercom? I'm delivering the girl. To who? To who? To my client. Which is the guy who, 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 in the Which is the guy that he's here. Is it classic? You're Clandor? literally in the place that he, this is his house. This is, he wants us to kill you. So you can't see this man, by the way. You just hear the voice. Shadow dude, person, guy. He wants us to kill you. I don't understand that. I did subvert his systems and Kill his butler. So then just bail. He killed Dante. Oh, Numpty's super dead. I'm sorry. It sucks. No, I mean, I'm not really that concerned about it, but... It's still... It's terrible. Dude! The classic clan right as well. Also, think oh, about it. Dude. Like, it's five versus you. You're gonna lose, and you, it's all oh falling gosh. into his uh, plans. He wants to film us, like, killing you. Jay! Yeah. Now is your moment. Uh, Jay, don't do listen not to him, move. Jay. 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 I didn't hire this Jay. man, but save the girl. Do, uh, You're we, in the light. We don't what, in the if light. We, what if we just don't do anything? Like all of us. You too, Strato guy. Like, let's just not do anything. What's going to happen? I have a happen? job to do, and I'm going to do my job. Dude, okay. you, we, we will kill you. We don't want to. 
Did you I think am, it'll be that easy? Yes. Did your it's going to be super you, easy. Did your instructions tell you not to harm Classy Clandor? No, they did not. My instructions were to get the girl and kill whoever stood in my way. And that, by capturing this Classy Clandor, the girl would be led to me, which she now is, and you will grant me safe passage out of here. Yeah. Ooh. Or one of you, or all of you, will die. We'll, we'll, we'll grant you safe passage, all right? Yeah. What? Let's see what happens. That's my line. Yeah, yeah, but my you're line, right. man. You're messing up my moment. Just, just, he's doing it's a thing. It's our moment. This we is a team. Like a thing. Like it's a, t like a thing. You know, he says your line. Our moment. And then that's a. Let's see what happens. We're just going to have a moment. Well, then you all want to be a part of it? Yeah, yes, just. Then but let's we... all say it together. Okay. With a power group. Yes. I'll share my moment with you guys. Okay. 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 Of doing nothing. Ready? Yes, this is perfect. Go on. The Keep moment, going. The moment of doing nothing. We're going to do nothing, right? Oh, yes. yes. We're yeah. doing nothing. We're doing nothing. Right. Let's say it together. Ready? Let's, let's see what happens. No one didn't say anything. Wait, what were we supposed to say? I'm going to say, let's see what happens. Does everybody okay. see Noah up there? <laughs> yeah, is she's Noah just here? standing up there overlooking. Oh, oh Noah. You guys see her. No oh, way. Hey. We have, yeah. I guess hey, <laughs> I wanted to be down there, but for some reason I'm up here. It's almost like I gave you a vantage me. point, the best spot in the house. Use your brain. Come on, you have a vantage point. You haven't even got. I haven't even gotten to go. <laughs> Try to like listen to everyone else bickering. Noah. Well, you all just revealed her now, so she's up top. <laughs> what are you doing up there? Not one more step. <laughs> We're just, we've decided not to just not do anything. We're just not going to do Sounds anything. Sounds about right. Like, well, we're just going to sit here, see what we're happens. We're not going to do anything. Right, Shadow Guy? What happens if you do nothing? If we just all do nothing. That's not how this works. Why did you even come to the library? Why didn't you just leave the house when you picked up Raza? You were standing in the entryway and I need an exit. You were Bring already Bring you all here and outside. I make you a deal. Mm. What's the deal? Okay, what is the deal? Let me leave with Raza and you leave with your lives. You oh, are that's too hard to That's like a bad deal. deal. Like that that's, no, try again. Come up with another deal. Were you instructed to come to the library? I don't trust anything that's happening right now. This is ridiculous. You could have just taken Raza and left Plot when you were point. outside. A lone bullet exits from the shadows. I need you to make an action for the save on this. Uh, with a d12 or just an action? Just your action. Oh no, I'm gonna die. Come on, babe, it's come on, babe, come on, babe, come on, babe. Six. As the bullet travels directly through your skull and you fall to the ground. No, I died? If anyone else takes another step or bullshits me anymore, you will die. Uh, classy? No. Classy? No, th Jay, this is your moment. Now is your time to shine, Jay. What do you, what do you mean? Rin? And I go over to Rin, and I'm like, yo, Rin, Rin, Rin I'll wake up. And I look down at her. Don't you look at me like that. You guys keep sassing me. <laughs> yo, Classy, what's up with this, man? What do you mean, Jay? Now is your moment. No, I'll scan the area and find where this guy is. It's time to blow his brains out. Uh, so I'm going to Shadow Man. Uh, let's see. I think I want to use, I'm going to use my force suggestion. My power of force suggestion. Okay, now I'm going to say, when you're a marionette, yeah. you are so much stronger and so much more physically capable that that doesn't mean all of your mental powers get boosted too. You're gonna to be stronger mentally as Noah than you are as Marionette. Because as Marionette, you have strong physical abilities. As Noah, you're stronger mentally. Mm, okay, so you mean my thing isn't boosted? Your, your thought stuff shouldn't be boosted when you're Marionette. That would be as Noah. And when you're Marionette, your action and your might would be okay. way boosted. Well, Noah's force suggestion is really low. It's only a D4. And I got a one. Yeah, and there's a reason for that because it's super OP. I got a two. You were close. Um, with Darren. everything going on, I throw up Wally immediately. Like Wally just comes out. Darren. Wally just instinctively. Darren. 
Well, now is not the time for Wally. Do you have Dan Dan? You do? I pull out Professor Dan Dan. Hello. Good to see you again, Karen. It's been a while. What time is it currently? Time of day? Yeah. It's about 5.30 p.m. Blow Dan the Dan. roof off. You're gonna have nowhere to hide. And I swear to God, you're going to regret what you just did. I point Dan Dan up at the roof. Dan Dan. Classy clan door over the intercom. No, no, don't. Dan Dan, I need an explosion. No, don't do blow it. Blow the roof off. No, don't do it. Dan Dan, blow off the roof. Do it now. Does this involve murdering? You're murdering yes. the roof. In this okay. <laughs> As you wish. Go ahead and roll your action. With a d12, since you're just shooting a ceiling. Five. So, given that you failed your roll, I'll let it play out. Um, as it's a failure to do so. As you shoot the roof and it blows off. For a brief second, you see the man as a shadow starts to like disappear for just this brief moment as you see him and then he just kind of slides to the side whoosh, diving into another shadow on the opposite side and that light starts to travel towards him as it starts moving closer and closer to that shadow you see him briefly appear again as he runs and jumps and slides into another shadow on the opposite side as it starts getting smaller and smaller, Clandor coming over there, come, what have you done? Why did you do that? The lights were on the ceiling. There's literally nothing that we trust about you. I didn't hire this man. I told Jay to stay in the light, it was golden hour. Wait, are you concerned about the lights because of? Because they're about to go out. Where's Javier? What do you mean? I thought he was in the dungeon. I locked him down there. Where is Javier? Look in your security system now. I... Okay, I... I'm not fucking playing with you. I don't see him. I don't know where he is. So, I use a plot point. <laughs> okay, you're dead, so you can't. Am I really dead, Yes, though? you can't. You're because... dead. You should have used it when I shot you. You're dead. Hmm. So can she gift it? I'm just gonna her will? say that I'm using my plot point right now, and that as part of my power of failsafe is that I get to say boost no, myself with, with my with my. <laughs> I'm gonna say no because you're dead. <laughs> can she give away her plot point in her will? How long have you guys been playing this game? We've never died before. There's been people get really close. Start talking as a team. I'm sure you can figure it out. So we all saw the last shadow that he's in. He's in a corner as the sun gets closer and closer to finally setting. As you ask someone to blow the roof off in the middle of uh, the middle of winter uh, at 5:30 p.m. as the sun's about to set. Professor Dan Dan. Yes. I need UV light. UV light? Yes, Professor Dan, and I need you to pursue a UV light. You want me to be a flashlight? A UV flashlight? You want me to just be a flashlight? A murdering flashlight? I'm sorry, but I am not a flashlight. I am a weapon, a projectile weapon. Jay, let's see what happens. I tried to do that, and now, um, Ren is dead. Uh, and if anything... Jay! Jay can you Jay. hear her? What? Before the light goes out, do it. Do what? Like, Ren is dead, man! She's one of us! Can you heal her with your stuff? By the way, what did you think I meant when I said, let's see what happens? I didn't know! 
Why I didn't, didn't know you, what you were saying. Why, didn't, why cool. didn't you ask for clarification? Like Every time you said, let's see what happens, you let out a smoke, and that's what I wanted you to do. And well, you we sat don't know there. what it's going to be. No. Like, you know. But it's a risk, and a risk that you take. This is two times you did nothing, and someone got shot in the head. Excuse me? This is two times. We don't Excuse have time for this. We do, me? Rinse dead, rinse dead. We don't have time times. for this. We don't have time for this. Excuse me. Um, Jay, can you save her? I don't know. Try. You have to try. That's it. That's all we have. You have to try. Pressure, don't look at me. Let me do my own thing. I keep looking at the corner, waiting. As you're looking, the shadow from the top as the sun sets over the side of the hill starts getting larger and larger as the shadow is starting to spread out against that wall. Classy, you seem like a guy who has some flashlights. Do you mind getting them for us? Yes, I'm not coming out of this room. I pay you to protect me. I'm not putting my life on the line again. Well, if we are dead, we can't protect you. So maybe get us some flashlights, please. Numpty. He's Numpty dead. could get you flashlights. No, Numpty's dead. And the last thing he told me before he died is to kill you. What? He said you did all this. What? No. So if there's a way to prove How that could he say such a thing? He said it. <clears throat> no, I... I love Numpty. He was like a father that I never had. How could he... I just drew a flashlight. You draw a flashlight? Sure did. Her name's Flashy and I love her. Go ahead and roll for it. You guys better figure out what you're doing because he's about to get another turn. It's taking you so long. One. You get to roll with the D D12. Go ahead. You get to roll with a D12. Three. Okay, well, nothing happens. I need a plot point. I need that plot point that I had last week. Guys, if I bring her back, you can just shoot her in the head again. Well, let's see if this corner of darkness protects him, and I death from above right into the corner for a tree. Okay. You jump over to that corner and come slamming down, and as you hit, all of a sudden bullets start hitting you from the side as you start tick, 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 taking bullets to the side of the head as it starts flashing and creating little blips of light as they hit off of you. Uh, given that you have to be hard to do that, I'm gonna say that the bullets don't technically uh, connect as he starts to laugh. Oh, finally a challenge. I read up on you, DK. Oh, I hope you did. I hope you read up on how it's gonna feel to have two thumbs pressed through your eyes. I know that for you to catch me, you're gonna have to get a little bit lighter than that. Mm, okay, we the lighter see. you go, the easier it will be for me to penetrate you. No, don't worry. I'm going to be penetrating you with my thumbs. No, I'll penetrate you. With my thumbs. No, I'll, I'll penetrate, penetrate you. you. Oh, you will see who is the penetrator. I'll be penetrating you no, first. No, trust me. Brynn would have loved this. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm about to take your turn from you. Uh, so I look up and I see, and I say, let's see what happens. And I actually just let... Uh, green smoke into uh, the vicinity. Uh, let's see what it is. What? Use your plot point. <laughs> no, no, I, oh I don't want to use that yet. <laughs> what? I don't want to use that There's yet. No, yeah, I don't tell you guys die. how to play the game. It's going to kill All right? you. Oh my God. Yeah. If I had a plot point and I don't have one, and you have one, and you're not even using it. Ask the chat. Okay, they gave me a plot point. I want to make it good. Oh, that would have made it good. I'm reading the chat. And they're all saying, oh my god, use the plot point. Wow. <laughs> guys, guys, let me play the game. <laughs> She's sure. dead, Jay. What are you doing? Dude, you have a full control of your powers. <laughs> Zach is losing it. Zach's going to kill everyone. Use the point. Do the thing. LOL. Yeah, we're Johnny right. Saber. Roll a d20. Look, let me just <laughs> play the four. <laughs> Johnny, make oh, it your god. Wait, I will do what I want to do. <laughs> what did I do? You rolled a four? I did. And you release this out to the room to see what happens. Everyone in the room falls asleep. <laughs> Everybody? 
You release it out to the entire room to see what happens. So everybody except for me. Everyone falls asleep. Including yeah, him? I don't think so. Not well, me. that would be Shadow Man, too. Yeah. Everyone in the room well, wait, falls it usually doesn't, asleep. I don't, except for I don't me. fall asleep. Wait, wait, wait. Except for me because I'm not in the room. You're in the I'm room. Above the room. You're no, above no, no, it, no. but you're in the uh, room. No, not. He specifically uh -uh. said, "I release it out everywhere to see what happens." And I am not in the room. It doesn't hit myself. <laughs> I wanted usually. to be in the room. You were in the room. <laughs> no, I wasn't. I'm up. Show, show the diagram. Show the diagram. <laughs> the ledge up above that's right here. Yeah, I'm with the not vantage in the point room. looking down in the room. I'm pretty sure. In a place Have you where ever there's been two in a stories? living room and then there's two stories? That's not the living room anymore. That's but a if different room. Is it a room? If you release the gas <laughs> in the living room, it would Yes, you, if you there was a far yeah, it's like a library, room, it would so totally it would be just reach like... you. <laughs> I also wish. Don't hate me. Hate this idiot. Oh, no, 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 no. I had it. As everyone falls asleep. I don't asleep. fall asleep. Who's it? Who I usually don't. I don't fall asleep. You didn't direct this at anyone, it went across the room. You know what? I don't roll care. for it. I'll oh, roll for it. Yeah, roll yeah, let's roll for it. That's <laughs> fair. With what? Oh my God. Accent? Probably. What? Roll my, your might. My might is so low. <laughs> oh, don't remind me. Not with the uh, D12. Oh, Roll six. your might. Yeah, you fall asleep. Well, then we're all just falling asleep. Everyone falls asleep. Is everybody asleep? Yay! Classic clan doors down no, asleep. We're just I'm trying to actually get logistics. Is everyone, including Raza and the Shadow Man, and everybody is asleep? Everyone in that yeah. room is asleep. The only person who's which not is as technically cl classic Landor. everyone except Classic Landor and Javier. Yeah. Great. Great. And the dead people. But given that you've now all fallen asleep, you wake up into a world that is not your own. It is dark and it is scary, and it basically looks like the pits of hell. And you are now inside of Raza's mind. Putting her to sleep definitely gave her kind of full power in that moment. Raza? you are now in her subconscious. Raza? Ra honey? You don't see her. You're just surrounded by basically fiery pits of lava and darkness. It exists. It's probably. Raza, honey? Come on, honey. Ron, what what the hell just happened? I saw a green mist and now I'm here. What 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 did you do? I wanted to see what happened. And uh And you finally killed Where's us. Where's Rin? I didn't kill us, huh? Yeah, is she in here? If this is hell or No. Dead? She's not. Okay. Can we see the Shadow Man or anyone else in here? Can you see the Shadow Man? Yeah. No. It's just you all standing next to each other right now. Ron runs over and kind of picks you up by the coat and lifts you up and goes, what did you do? Where are we? This doesn't help. This isn't helping. What did you do? This doesn't. I, I probably made us go to sleep. This I... isn't what it looks like when I'm asleep. Did yeah. you do this? Did you put our minds in this? Fucking place. This is Raza. Ron, you're ch losing it, man. Ron, this, this isn't out, helping. Dude. This does not help. We need to fig. We need to figure out where we are. Every time I'm out. around you guys, every time I team up with you, shit happens. Crazy shit happens. I was just, just I was just a bouncer at a strip club making a living. I finally let all that stuff go. And then, why, how did you even show up there of all places? That was my fault. I wanted to be a beautiful stripper. How'd you know to go there? How did we end up there? Davlin, right? Who gave us the idea, go to the strip club, meet military guys, that was break all into us. the base? No, no it wasn't, no it wasn't. Davlin, the guy that works for the dude that hired you all. Davlin again. So I got brought into your game for a, for a movie? This isn't our game. I just why we need to we need to. Rin's dead. We have to help Raza. This isn't helping. And I. <sighs> well. 
At I'm going to use my plot point. It, it gives us a moment to like think about what we're going to do. You can think about that on your own. I'm going to use my plot point uh, since this is a mind control thing. I'm mm-hmm. using my mind control now that I have Marionette to bring myself out of... Well, this is actually Jay's fucking thing. So um, to, to wake myself up uh, and... Uh, You're going to tell me story-wise. It, story. So... So Marionette is actually not scared by all this darkness because this is what she lives in. So she craves it. And now she feels, yes, yes, I love this. The fire, the magna, the get the fuck away from me. Uh, Uh, All right. And she comes, she feels, especially with the panties, before she comes out, she stuffs one more in her mouth. Oh, gross. And, and <laughs> opens her eyes and looks down and she sees everybody sleeping in the room. And she almost, with like her skeletonish body, like jumps slash floats down into the room uh, and sees the shadow man because his darkness, no, listen, this has a point. She li- lives in, in a world of darkness. So she can see his darkness. She connects That's you with taking it. control of one of my players. I won't allow that. I'm not taking control of him. You're saying though that you can be in his world. His no, 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 no. I can see him. They can't see darkness. They don't live in darkness. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna make right, you roll babe. for that. I'm gonna make you roll for that. <laughs> Just roll your intellect. This is the last episode. I'm going to do as much mm-hmm. as I can. I, I don't blame you for that. Yeah, for real. I don't, I don't blame you just... for that. I'm going to make you roll You think it. the darkness is your ally. I am born in the darkness. I can see the shadow man. Thank you. Just roll your intellect. Uh, 11. And you see him. <laughs> well, well, well. Yeah, what does he look like? <laughs> He's a very pasty, Aww. thin, mm. elongated kind of individual wearing all black. And you can just kind of see like his face and he's wearing a black kind of cap. And he's got gloves on. And he's just laying on the floor, plain as day. Can he get it? <laughs> wow! <laughs> I just... take his gun from him. He's asleep. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. That's it? <laughs> Is that it? You don't smash his head in? I said I take his guns or his weapons from him. You said gun. Yeah, fine. I take his guns from him. He's asleep. Yeah. Is that all? No. <laughs> Please. I'm gonna say that's all. That was that's pretty all. long. That's that was all a pretty I got. long plot point. As you're standing over him, classy coming over to him. Noah! Noah, what happened? Noah! You can't let the girl die. You can't. She's everything. She's the culmination of everything. She's the symbol of hope. You have to save the girl. Save the girl. Oh, dear God. Um, run. What? And then the intercom goes out. Raza? She's just on the ground asleep. Oh, okay. You're in the room. Yeah, I pick her up. As you pick her up, you hear the sound of a sonic boom overhead. Like like the sound of something approaching extremely, extremely fast. Use my plot point. God. <clears throat> As the rest of you are asleep and dead, and you're standing <laughs> with her in your arms, and you hear this boom, you see this streak of orange in the sky as boom, comes landing down in front of you is Toyo Harada. Oh, oh Jesus. Jesus Christ. As he stands oh, up. I was alive. And he looks at you holding the girl and then immediately kind of glances over to the side and walks over to Rin, puts his hand on her chest and you see her body start to glow as she starts to rise up off of the ground as he just kind of focuses and as he's focusing, you start to see his face wrinkling as gray hair start to appear around him and his body starts to look like it's aging as this energy is transferring through to Rin as he then lets her go and you take a <gasps> gasp as you see Harada's face over you. Okay, I, I knew and some, 
I knew something was between them. <laughs> and I look him in the eyes with like tears in my eyes. Sensei, why? Rin. I felt your presence leave. I'm sorry. No, I I'm sorry. never meant for this to happen. I'm sorry for everything. I, please forgive me. Maybe in due time. <sighs> Am I, I can't let you die. I was dead? Who did this to you? That guy. <laughs> he looks over. <laughs> he looks over at the ground and his eyes glow and that individual's body starts separating at a molecular level as it just starts dissipating into thin air as his body just whoosh, disappears. What do, what do we see? Cut back to this hellish landscape oh that you were God. all in. As where, you where, did, where did Noah go? She just disappeared yeah. like that. Just, where is she? <gasps> Yo, y'all, this is fucked up and I went out now. We just gotta wake up, guys. I mean, that's probably... Oh, we just gotta wake up? No. Why are we asleep? I, I don't just fall it. asleep. I when just... I'm in the middle of a battle and somebody's shooting at my friends and I see a person on the ground, I don't just fall asleep, Jay. Well, look at it. Everybody's asleep and we're fine. Okay? We're fine? I don't know what's happening to my body. I fell asleep next to a dude that was shooting at us. He's probably asleep too. Oh, we're probably. Fine. Where is he? I don't see him. He's in the shadows. I don't know. Hey, Shadow Man, we're in hell. Where you at, dude? Where you at? Hey, it's just me, your friendly neighborhood, Ron. Wondering if we could all maybe get out of this together. I don't think you're gonna get out of it live otherwise, so let's just, why don't we? Hey Ron, do you think this is helping? Really? Yeah, really. Do you think this is helping? Do you all have any accountability at all? Any accountability we... at all? Yelling and arguing isn't going to get us back to helping her. We need to figure out a plan to get out of here. And you taking your anger and frustration out on how shitty everything has been hasn't helped. Do you think it hasn't been shitty for me? For oh, I know Jay, it's been for shitty for all of you. For all of you. Then and what? when are you gonna accept that it's your fucking fault? Why would I listen to you? Not even human, you probably don't even have emotions. Oh, that's not nice. He clearly has emotions because he's being a big baby. No, he's right been now. gallivanting. He's, being a big baby he's been gallivanting through human lives Hooking up with women through the years. That's okay. Because he's scared to be in his own fucking hooking up, Hooking up with women. Hooking up with women. Loving women. <laughs> living longer than them and watching them die. Okay. Ooh, that got, that got dark. Got real dark. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, look, yeah, guys, look. Your look, attitude we, definitely proves that, buddy. Look. I've seen more death and decay around you all than wars, traveling through the inner space of other planets, you all are a rolling death machine. There's hope, I, I see it in you. I see the chance for all of you to do something good and decent. And the first chance you all get to just throw that away, you do out of what? Your fear of yourselves, your own power? Your, your, what? I don't, I've never seen a group with more power and capabilities just Flounder it away. It's hard enough for Psyots out there. And every chance you'll get, you're popping up in the news. Making it harder for other people who don't want this. What you have. That don't want these abilities and just want to live normal lives. And harder and harder to survive. Yeah, that's real. Yeah, it's so real hard. Hiding in Vegas. While kids are getting killed. Real hard. Real tough, a, a real alien standing in front of me who got shot in the head and who sat there in Vegas and watched kids die. Matter of fact, you, motherfucker, you watched so much happen. You've watched us get bombed, you've watched people get killed, and you're gonna teach me on how to be a hero? What have you stopped? I can't fix what your problems. You stopped? I can't what fix have you your stopped? What have you stopped? The things that I've seen. 
the things that my bloodline have been through and you sit here and you fly and you come and you go and you watch women die because you fought them and you feel love. You don't know what love is. Yikes. There's so much shit. So yeah, when I got the powers, I tried to do something and yes, I fucked up. Yes, it's hard. Yes, sometimes people die, but I'm not hiding. I'm not sitting in Vegas trying to hide and hope that this all blows over because it never does. Every time it happens, it never does. And we keep fucking up. Why? Because of people like you who keeps pushing us. Because people like you who just think, oh, take it easy. I stood there. I tried to give chances and I got stabbed in the chest. I stood there. I tried to talk to Lila and I got stomped on. At some point, at some point, you gotta stop looking for someone to blame because there's collateral damage. We can do better, yes, definitely, but I'd rather keep fucking up than to sit back. When you fuck up, people die. Oh yes, and when you do nothing, kids die. What did you do? What did you do in Vegas? I, did. I sat there and what? watched As kids die. I did. What I sat there and watched it. And I have to sit there and know so many powerful psyots. The shit I see you do. Do you not know how much that makes me want to fuck you up? Every time I see something you can do. And know that those kids died helpless. Because no I one wanted to fight. Because no one wanted to fight. People. No one wants to fight. You're Everyone's making afraid. A lot you don't of think we're afraid? You're making a lot of assumptions right now. Oh, yeah. Based I've on seen. what you see. Yeah. Me. Doing everything I can to evacuate you when you need evacuating, oh. take you where you need to go, to do what you need to do, it when it's asked of me. Just like I've always done what Jen asked of me when she needed it. Because she kept people alive. Mm. And I've got her back. When she needs me, I'm there. I owe her that much. Because what I want out of this is a normal life for all of us. Oh, damn. Let me tell you something. I've seen enough death. I'm going to tell you something. I'm going to tell you one thing. And hopefully you remember this. This is something I learned very early. Some people get to have normal lives. And some people just don't. Some people are born a certain way. And no matter what they do, they're going to have to deal with problems. And they can try and pretend it doesn't happen. And be safe and feel happy about the people who choose to be safe and be okay. Or they can fight. We've had no support. We have not met one single person who wanted to fight. And unfortunately, when we did... I'm in hell with you right now. Yeah, yeah, no, so you're going to have to listen to this for the rest of eternity. <laughs> and when we did find somebody who wanted to fight, someone wanted to be a fucking blood-muttering robot, and we got kicked to the side. I'm not trying to place the blame, but I'm tired of being blamed. I'm trying to be... A f I'm trying to do what's right. I did everything you said. You said, give people a chance. Give people a chance. So I stood there. I looked at him. I was like, I'm going to give you a chance. And I got stabbed in the fucking stomach and it hurt. I don't have a nut. I don't have two fingers. There's been lots of chances I give. But because the one time I fuck up, people remember because people die. People die and it sucks. I, want, I don't want to kill people. There's nothing more I want to do than don't kill people. But then I look at people. I look at the 16 year old that you make me feel guilty about. And I think back to when I watch my friend's father get stabbed right in front of her by that group of people. And, <laughs> oh wait, you were there too. But we're supposed to give chances. No matter how many times they're supposed to kill us, it's hard. It's real hard, it's real fucking hard because it's hard to try and fight a war and keep your hands clean. I don't know how to do it. And I'm going to figure out, but unfortunately, all my mentors want us to hide. Because we're outnumbered. And we need a plan. We need to come together with other psyots and form a plan. Us running at the military, running at every situation blinded. We come out hurt. People come out dead. I mean, why are you guys we, a superhero team in the first place? Like, the, what is the power group? Because we... We have asked for help so many times. We're like... 
babies. We were babies who were given way too much power while everyone else around us died. And we had to come together because that's the only way that we could survive. And all we've been focused on is surviving. And everywhere we go and every time we ask, please help us, please train us, please someone, everyone bails. We've tried and I want a normal life. I didn't used to. I wanted to be a superhero, I wanted to be like Zephyr. I wanted to fly around and save people and then a war happened and we were abandoned and I'm not blaming you I'm not blaming anyone that's fucking war but we didn't ask for a war we wanted to be superheroes and we're young and naive and stupid and a lot of people took advantage of that and I just god if I had a home I would be there I don't want to be a hero. The heroes are the ones who make the big moves and everything works out okay. We make big moves. No, it and doesn't work out okay. And everyone dies when we make big moves. You think everything turns out okay? Pretty sure Unity didn't stop aliens from destroying half of Los Angeles and all of Mexico City. Pretty sure Nebraska got demolished. I, I mean, honestly, I can't tell you any good Unity's done for anyone. The only time they ever come on the news is to say, people died. Sorry. Oh, look, we saved the day after millions of people lost their lives. You know, maybe superpowered people aren't supposed to be out there trying to save people. Maybe it's always going to lead more people into death and destruction. But if we don't, then who does? I think that's the point. At some point we have to ask ourselves, is this happening because we're trying to be heroes? All I want right now is to find Raza and to bury our dead. I'm not worried. I don't need to be on magazines. I don't need to be on YouTube. I don't need to be in some fucking documentary. I just. Well, I don't need the attention. I've got plenty. You're right. You're right. We aren't fit to be heroes. After we give Raza home, I'm out. I'm out of the power group. How's your credit? You want to be roommates? No, I'm, I'm probably going into hiding. I mean, yeah, but you still have to have like a place to live. Um, no, no. We'll talk later. Find you all are technically we'll just... registered terrorists. You know that, right? See? Yeah, but That's I can float. Can... I'll see how far I can float. <clears throat> Work on your credit. Well, uh... Well... No, this has been my fault. No. No, it hasn't. Yeah, it has. Yeah, it has. Why didn't you save Ren? I, I remember it. the boy on the four wheeler. I remember. He was as good as dead. You fixed him. The little boy. You out of everyone have these godlike abilities. Well, I don't. I barely know that girl, but she's just a she's just a girl, and she's your friend. I mean, done it one time. And if I would have tried, that would have been all of me. And then that guy was still out there shooting. I just, I, I tried to make the best goddamn decision I could make. And that's what I've been doing this whole time. 
What do you guys do when you do this? You're talking to each other, aren't you, right? You talking to each other? Yeah. I've been in so many situations with you all. We're just a little bit of communication between you guys. Be amazing. Do wonders. In that situation alone, that dude's bulletproof. Saw it with my own eyes. Guy shot aim from the shadows. You can control walls. And other little things. I think that you are an untapped, unlimited resource. That also godlike level of powers. That's only held back by your own insecurities. A little bit of DK cover me while I save my friend. But you guys keep it all in. You keep it all in here and try to just be the heroes on your own instead of being heroes as a team. Using each other's abilities to help each other out. I, you know why I hide most of Because I'm on my own. When Jin calls me out to do something, you think she sends us alone? Hell no. We get smashed immediately. We form a plan. We work together. Infinity Fist. Was always the tactician, but. Just. Yeah, I'm angry. I'm in hell right now. And I have seen more death and destruction in the last year than my entire existence. And I don't even know how long that is. And maybe that's why I'm mad. I've never seen more power, intelligence. Raw sexuality? <laughs> As a group, you all could be the most powerful people on this planet. On your own, nothing. You get wiped out by somebody like Harada and just a thought. But who knows what you could do together? Supporting each other. Have you ever actually thought to say, what if I did this with this? How about you do this while I do that? You guys are always trying to do the right thing, but alone on your own, as if if something goes wrong, it's only on you. I get it. You'd rather you take the hit than him. You'd rather you take the fall than him. Despite the beef between you two, you're both always looking out for each other. But in the wrong way. Instead of counting on each other, you're just trying to be just the singular person that can decide the fate of everyone else. If you can talk like this, without anyone else even hearing it, ask. Do you guys ever ask each other? Hey guys, I can heal people, what do you want me to do? How do we get out of here? Can we get out of here? Does your stuff wear off? It usually yeah. does, yeah. yeah. I hope I don't wake up dead. I don't think that's how it works. I think we're in Ross's brain. This was like to be her asleep. Jesus. I know. That's fucked up. She's just a kid. Yeah, I didn't even consider that. God, we gotta get her home. So, uh, well, I wonder, wait, we, where, where did Noah go, by the way? I don't know, but when we wake up, do you think we're going to team up, we're going to work together. You. And that's how we'll defeat the shadow. You and Noah, you're like, you're an item, right? Uh, well, not anymore. She said she's too old for me because, you know, I'm a young, new-bodied man, and she's like, 
I don't know. Like 30 like, or whatever. I like, don't know. How old is that? Uh, She's like 35, 38. Like, like, like Sarah <laughs> Jessica Parker, how old is she? I don't know. I lost track. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, like, I don't know. Like that old. But, but you guys are like linked, right? You're, do you um, think you can, if she got out of here, if can, we're asleep, do you think you can? I can try. I can, like, so I, so I concentrate and I close my eyes and I put my fingers on my head and I think as hard as I can. And, and, <coughs> I'm, I'm going to say, I'm going to have you roll your, uh, I'm going to have you roll your charisma. But if you two hold hands while you're doing it, I'll give you a plus to that. Maxwell. Roll your dice. What am I rolling? Charisma. Roll your charisma with a plus two. Okay. Three. That'll work. <laughs> okay. Got a two. I'm 29. I'm 29. I'm 29. Yes. So oh, only you two are speaking right I'm 29. Now. Oh, oh, okay. I'm not that old. I'm 29. I don't know why you would be yelling that at me. I, where are you? Where I just feel you? like I need to remind you every once in a okay. while I'm 29. Oh, okay. Got and it. it's not that older than everyone else. Oh, okay. I don't know. That's such a weird thing to bring up. Uh, look, where are you? Uh, Harada is here. Uh, the Shadow Man's dead. Uh, yeah, doesn't Jay's stuff wear off by now? Yeah, no, 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 just let us sleep till Harada leaves. Bye! <laughs> <laughs> okay. What happened? Uh, Harada's up there, so we'll get what? down here what? now. Yep, what? Yep, 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 yep. Harada yeah. turns as he's holding Rin's body and looks at you. And without saying anything out loud, he speaks directly into your mind. I've been watching you. Just let her go home, okay? With Rin me, she is home. I don't think so. She wants to go to her home home. Rin, do you want to go home? No, not her. I mean, yeah, if Rin wants to go. You're awake. <laughs> well, I'm holding, I'm like touching you. And I'm like, I'm just like, <laughs> She's like, Rin, like hitting you. Rin, it's like, <sighs> Rin, tell him, tell him we're, you're, we're your friends. Um, yeah, we're, wait, what's go, yeah, we're friends. Wait, what, what do you mean? Like, tell him we're friends. He knows we're friends, right? Like. This is He's correct. not gonna hurt us or hurt Raza. She wants to go home. Tell him. Tell your boyfriend to let her go home. What's going on? Raza's coming with me. She doesn't want to go with you. Rin, you what should you? come too. Rin, you didn't want me last time. Fade to black. I needed to. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there it is. Balzarada is talking. <laughs> you see a, a DK sh silhouette slump up. All you see is nothing. You just, you just see like a silhouette, but bright eyes. Harada senses me, but he thinks I'm weak. So he does <laughs> I shut, get up. And since I'm awake, I do what the one awake person would do first and shake everyone else up so they can be awake as well, not to just be by themselves. Oh, I don't care. I'm, I yeah. got Raza. That and was I, my goal. And as... Karen starts to wake up, I go, grab Raza, and I slowly float, and I slowly float, and that same thing from the Iron Giant starts playing as I float. Do you, do you wake Jay up too? Uh, uh, Karen, wake up Jay. <laughs> and, I float, <laughs> and I float, I float higher than I can. I even start losing the air in my throat because I'm getting so high I see. I'm going for Raza. The world around me. Noah has I see yeah, Noah has everything. And I close my eyes and I think of my brothers, my mom, my father, as I keep floating. I start getting lightheaded because I'm losing the air pressure, is making me lose consciousness. But just in time, I start shifting my weight and try and get as heavy as I've ever been as I come back down. God, this is a bad idea. Come He's back so down. He's holding someone. <laughs> yeah. Come back down. When communicating. I realize what's, I realize what's happening. 
And I'm like just slowly kind of crawling over and I grab Rin by like the by the leg. No. As I'm holding on to her. Just just a, just a post script. I am slowly floating to get like I'd say it takes general you 10 time. No, yeah. I'd, I'd say it takes like like 20. Like, like I'm going. What? Okay, okay, 20, okay, 20 so, minutes? Um, oh yeah. Um, you just removed really yourself really from the rest of the episode. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm, okay, so I, I I go up to Rin and I'm like, does this with Rin in his hands. <laughs> And just walks and backwards just about him, ten like, feet. Smelling him. <laughs> well, no, I I, re I reach over to Rin and I do that thing where you like uh, creep someone out by like squeezing the back of their back and like tickling them a little bit. Whoa! And then so, as wait, she wait, wait, lets wait. go, you're, you're you're trying to yes sneak up on Harada. So go ahead and roll for that. Just roll your action. You just roll your action. Yeah, I'm not gonna tell you what his action is because it'll just depress you. Eight. Roll that again. That's impressive. <laughs> Seven. Yeah, no. Uh, as you try to start walking forward, all of a sudden you kind of hit this barrier. And as you hit the barrier and you start kind of like putting your hands around it, you realize this kind of almost see-through orangish barrier is surrounding him and Rin. As he's still in there. I'm going to let you finish your... That was a plot point, so I'm going to let you... I'm going to let you finish it. Oh, this is definitely my uh, my like solar beam. So like, so like, you, you take some time. Take some time, and I'm just, I'm communicating like, guys, you're not gonna defeat Harada. The least we can do is try and get out Raza. That's what we're trying to do, and Rin is like boyfriend girlfriend with them. So there's a chance that he might care about her since he brought her back to life and let us go, or or at least listen to her in some. Way. Harada, speaking to you without speaking. You know I can hear everything you're saying. Yeah, I figured, you know, listen. Is he speaking to all of us? Because he's in line with Just okay. Noah. I think it's best that we talk. Fine. I slowly float <laughs> back down. <laughs> <laughs> Wise decision from your friend. Oh don't, don't it was gonna be so cool. You, you were gonna you you, you probably would have you probably would have got like Do you understand, that. DK? I could end you with a thought. Yeah, uh, yeah. I I understand. I understand a lot. He knows of your name. Of course I know. DK Unaka. The young boy who pleaded to be accepted into the foundation. Well, well. Who was turned away for he was brash, mm -hmm. arrogant. Overly confident. It sounds like somebody we both know. I meant you, by the way. Oh no. Can you roll your action for me? Six. He kind of puts his hand out and a bubble goes around your head where you can't, you keep talking, but <laughs> nobody else can hear it. It's okay. Ren. It's typical. Cocky, yes. superpowered dude. If you want, I can bring all of them home. You could. We'll need them. We'll need everyone. You told me that you didn't want me anymore. You didn't, that you didn't need me. Anymore. I needed to let you go. You relied too much on me, and I was beginning to rely on you. Did you? Not emotionally. Your mm. power. Yuck. You know what it does to people. That's a risk that I couldn't take. <sighs> I mean, I... Do they even know? I think they know. I'm, I'm getting better at not just eating people of all of their life force. I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll do what you want. I mean, I just... I need you to be a leader. Okay. If you ever... 
you use your powers to manipulate me again, I will kill you myself. It wasn't to hurt you. I don't care what the reason was. My mind is not one to mess with. That being said, it does not mean I don't care for you and all of my past students. I will need all of you for what's about to happen. Including you. What's about to happen? I'm sure you know, as Dumoko has told you. There's a war coming. Bigger than the one you're already in. It will define everything. Our future. If we continue to have one. I will not stand idly by. You can come with me to Africa and you will have a safe haven there. We're building an army. We will be ready. But Raza, she's just a girl. She doesn't want to be a part of this. She wants to go home. <laughs> Raza <laughs> can't go home. Why? They will not accept her there. And she knows this. Does she have any family? She has none. You're the closest thing to family she's ever had. It's only right that she stays with you. With me. We'll be safe there, guys. We'll have everything we need. We don't have to run away anymore. And everything will be organized for us and we'll, we'll know what we have to do. There's none of this figuring it out and on our own anymore. Maybe the best thing for Raza is to be with other Syots. You know, not alone by yourself. Am I gonna have to kill anybody? Not if you don't want to. I don't want to. Your abilities be of great use. <laughs> Research, development, combined with Raza, could protect many Psyots. As it is our birthright to hold power over this world. Oh, that sounds weird. I don't want to hold power, I just want to be safe. There's no other way to be safe. Oh. You see how they look at you, they fear us. Yes, DK. I, I couldn't hear anything. It seemed like <laughs> everyone was really getting a good like talk. So what's happening? He's, he wants us to come with him and join the foundation. He's going to train us. He's going to protect us. And probably build somewhere safe for Raza to be. And we're going to help take over the world? That sounds insane. Does it? I don't want to take over anything. Well, the alternative is running and being these weird freelancer psyots. Why not be organized? I tried doing this the peaceful way for years. Rin was a part of the foundation. We trained kids how to use their abilities, activated them. As you know, I was slowly changing things from the inside with money, power. And then Stancheck came along. And the world continues to change. Peaceful's not an option anymore. Why? I, I don't, I don't, I, I'm not a warrior. I'm not, I'm just a silly girl with a stupid notebook. Do you, do you, do you. Also, you, I nudge Ron with my foot because I don't think he's awake yet. Um, you know, when I got my powers, there was a thicker 
of disappointment because I didn't have anything like you or Peter, anything I could fight you with because it was my mission. It was my mission to take you out, to die, to take you out. That was my mission. That's, that's what I wanted. Then I went, went to the far away, I went to people, I tried so hard to be this hero. I tried so hard to help people in every step of the way, no matter what I did. I was always messing up. I was always, always hated. No one could see the good I was trying to do. And that is when I understood how you can feel the way you feel. And that's why I'm going to the foundation with you. Wise choice, TK. I've been excited to watch you grow. I've been watching all of you since the beginning. And because of that, I have to let you know, Jay. It's wise that you join TK with me and Rin and Raza at the foundation. By wise, I mean I can't give you a choice. And I'm sorry. Hmm. How much does it pay? It does not pay. Oh, you're making this hard. So it doesn't pay? A stipend? Free meals? You will have whatever you want because money is not an object that is needed All right. in the utopia that we will be building. Have you ever stopped to think what Syats can accomplish with all of their powers combined? You could end diseases effectively, allowing us to live forever with the powers that rest inside of you. Others could remove the need for hate, crime. The utopia of the future is only achievable if all Syats work together. And you are the most important part of that, Jay. I know what you can do. And I can't let that fall into the wrong hands. What are the wrong hands? There are many who don't see things this way and will work against us. I'm sure you've seen a lot of that already. The word will eventually get out. You've been able to trick people so far, somehow avoiding Solomon. Somehow. Well, who's gonna make fun of DK if, uh, if I don't go? Noah, do you want to come with us? I want to do what's best for Raza and for the group. And I feel like we can't keep running. We're going to die. You almost, you did die. Yeah. You super died. I cried. I mean, at least it didn't feel like I died. I just woke up and saw Harada's face. But... Oh, is that the face I make? Don't let me make that face again. What? What face? That, say Harada again? You mean your thirsty face? Harada? Yeah, don't let me make that face anymore. No, yours is like, ah. <laughs> yours oh. is like that. Oh, oh. Yours, let me Karen. see Karen. <laughs> Noah. Yeah. 
I'm already risking a lot by making myself known here as I've been hiding for months. The cameras are still rolling. Uh, where's Classy Clandor? Oh, God. A voice comes over the loudspeakers. Yes! Don't stop because of me! Y uh, I think Why can I not sense this man? Yes, I left as soon as you all fell asleep. I did not stay in this building. I told her to run, and I did. By the way, don't worry about the cameras. Everything is uploaded to a safe server. Oh, oh shit. Um, Kratos, Sensei, can you do anything about the yeah, cameras? Can she, like, and... super kill that dude? Well, not... I mean, okay. Yeah, let's... What? No, let's not super kill that dude. Well, he didn't he kill? Didn't he like? Can shoot? you roll your charisma for me? Yeah. It's a pretty interesting suggestion. I'll let you roll that. Eight. I have to. No, no, I, no more killing. No more As killing. As he sets Rin down and no. flies up into Hold the air on. and disappears. Uh, that, didn't that guy kill? Like set this whole thing up and then shoot. Numpty or whatever, just to be on camera, and you guys don't care about that. I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. If this gets out, this. Could yes. Um. Excuse me. Did you just suggest that Toyorata come kill me? No. Yeah, because you're a piece of shit. No, what did I do to you? No you? You put you us in this, this whole situation. You're I the reason Rin got shot. You How am I the reason Rin got because shot? Because you put yourself on hostage. Like you, I did you no such yourself. thing. I did no such thing. Yeah, you did. Then who hired What's the, the truth? Man? Who hired uh, the Girl Scout and everybody? What do you mean we hired the Girl Scout? I've been, I filmed everything she said to me. She hates you. She has a vendetta against you. She's been tracking you for months. She hired the man. You set this and whole sold thing him up. off. She sold Raza. You set this whole thing up for your documentary. I said nothing up. All I have to do is follow you. Everything falls in my lap. It'd be great if you would explain some things. That would be wonderful. Guys, where's Javier? I couldn't find him, but conveniently my safe was gone. Good old think he's. Yep. I think There's he's very can... safe, and he's very rich right now. Cut to, very quickly, a hot rod driving down the road <laughs> in Texas with the safe in the back of the hot rod and Javier smiling big with his hair flowing in the wind as the top's down and you he's just driving Sue. on. <laughs> <laughs> Off into he's like, the night. like, exactly as I planned it. Mm. Cut back to you guys. <sighs> We don't really have a choice, you guys. Well, you definitely don't have a choice, but... All of a sudden you hear over the intercom, No, don't, no! It's all saved, you can't, it doesn't matter! No, don't! And you hear nothing else. Wasn't there something better he could have done than to kill this dude? All of a sudden you it's hear done. from the corner of the room, Ugh! Ugh! Okay, I wasn't in hell anymore, but then it was just, I was just as, asleep, I guess. What, what it, you're all awake, what'd I miss? Can you stop a Toyo Arata? <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean the, stop? If the answer is no, oh. then we're going with Toyo Arata. Oh, Ron, you God. Go. Ron, you gotta Wait, get how out long there. was I asleep? Ron, huh? get out of here. Ron, you have to get out of here. This is uh. the one thing we can do. Okay, give me Raza and I'll, I'll, I'll take a car no, and I'll modify it and... No, we're taking Raza with us. I'm undecided. Have you lost your fucking mind? No. I don't have What a we've been doing hasn't... Yeah, he doesn't have a choice. What we have been doing hasn't been working. What do you mean? You always have a choice. Just tell you Raza. He's man. a madman. He would watch the world burn. Guys, I'm not... For just someone insulting him. He's Noah. a fascist dictator. Noah, you gonna... brought Rin back to life. Noah, give him Raza. No. What are you gonna do? He's okay. just gonna come after you, kill her, kill you, and take her. Jin, Jin, I have if to get to Jin. We have to get to Jin. If you're gonna go, you need to leave now. He's gonna be I, I can't leave without Raza. She's 
She's so powerful and she's just a kid. Wait, is Raza with us? Yeah, I'm yeah, holding her. Yeah, she's holding her. We're taking Raza with How us. How fast can you move? Like, uh, right now. This guy's pretty rich. I can modify. Like, right now. Fast. The plane's still out there, right? Yeah. Fast. Fuck, Harada. Fast, fast. No, what? Give him Raza. He's just gonna find him, kill him, and take yeah. her. No, he doesn't even know Jin exists. He doesn't even know Jin exists. She's been in hiding for years. But he knows where. He knows you, and he's gonna come and find you, and he's I'm gonna not... take Raza. We're taking Raza with he us. He can't read my brain. Give well, him, give him Raza. We'll distract Toyo. Why? We'll just kill us because we gave him Raza, guys. Yeah, guys, no. we're, we're, we're gonna make a decision hard and fast within two seconds. Ron, In the get out same of here. way that there was no choice with Toyo, there's no choice here. Either you're gonna hand Ron Raza and Raza and we're gonna get out of here, or I'm gonna have to knock all of you out and take Raza myself. Where are you gonna take her? Somewhere safe. If Jin was able to hide all those people for that long from Toyo, they'll be able to hide Raza. God, I wish I had a plot. Point. Five, <laughs> four, three. Two of them. Oh, I don't know. You've Two, got four, and then I, out there. then I toss. You take Raza. Raza give okay. It, let's go right now. Oh, you thought I was really gonna join that slime bug? I, I put my head in the butt. So Ron and DK start running. I run too. And you run too. What well, are I you go three with doing? Them. What? You start running as Why well. Why are you? What? I thought we are going with Harada. What are we? What are you guys doing? I grab Red's hand and say, mm. "Let's see what happens." And I run <laughs> with her. <laughs> So you all are running out of this place as you start making your way towards the uh, the airplane that's parked out in the back, uh, this small field guys, outside of there. this isn't going to work. It's Toya Harada. I, mean, I, gonna... hey, you know I don't care. We have to try. They told us we couldn't get out of the far Do you want to die? He, we're, we're going with him or we're going to die. I'm <laughs> going with him. I don't care. She's... I'm not gonna stop you, you're a grown ass woman, but I am getting on that plane, I'm getting the fuck out of here. But don't let, he's not entitled to you just because he saved your life. Just remember that. I know that. And I go into the jet. <laughs> I'm in the jet. So you guys are getting the jet. As you were running down the hill, you passed the chair that was on the ground and the chair just had blood seeping out of the back of oh, it. Oh no! Oh God. But you just keep running. Yeah. <sighs> I grab the stupid chair. So you grab the chair? As I'm running. Okay, I'm you pick up the chair and you're running with it. You get in the jet? Yeah, I get in the jet. I'm in the jet. I stand I'm outside the jet. the jet. I'm, I'm not going with you guys. I'm going to wait here for 20. Rin. Stop him from following us. You can go with him, but just let us live. And I put my hand on all of you guys, and I boost you all. Can I, do I have to roll for that? Yeah, go for it. Okay. I mean, you have a plot point. You guys yeah. could be using your fucking plot points! Okay, get but there. I feel like I can use I it did. later. Okay, That's fine, fine, fine. There is no later. All right, fine. Boom. <laughs> Literally <laughs> last episode. I, yes. I Not only that, we only have like a couple, like we don't have that much time left. You better start using your fucking plot so points. I, I or I'm going to kill all of you. <laughs> I, put, oh, <laughs> I put my hand on, on everyone, or on the ground, or whatever I need to do. Okay. Uh, and um, boost everyone. So you and all you, feel, you all feel uh, you all see this like blue energy in the ground, as if the ground is made of light. Um, and all of you feel this energy in your body. You feel like adrenaline. You feel like you can do anything you want. You're so strong, and you're smarter, and you're faster. And also, for some reason, this la 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 montage of me and Rin plays. Of, uh, of me coming home from a regular job and oh bringing a lot of food, and then there's a Rin DK baby, and yeah. then there's like us fighting crime together, and then then, then it's like. And then as soon as we punch the last guy, you grab me yeah, and I yeah. get it. Yeah, it's like ah. Uh, then we sit dipped. down and Ryan Gosling is teaching us jazz, <laughs> and we're like dancing. And then, uh, then you it, hear a sonic boom, <laughs> as all of a sudden Harada lands on the opposite side of you. As he looks at the jet, we had a deal. As he puts his hand up. We never shook on it, man. And I really don't like 
not having a joy. You have to come with me, Jay. No, I don't. And then I look him right in his eyes and I, and I say, you're about to see what happened. <laughs> And this time I take, you see this green energy. Harada like up. puts his hand back as an orange shield starts to come up. You can keep going. Yeah, yeah, no, it's fine. It's fine. It's all good. And this is a plot point. I want to remind you. <laughs> this is a plot point. And so the green energy comes through and it starts just like layering on me. And it's building up like you've never seen it before. And then I just walk up to him closely. Okay. You can do you can do, shoot you that. Do that from here. Do that from here. Do that from here. Do that from here. Not that close. I mean, like this close. This close. This close. Yeah, yeah this close. I'm not like up on him. Ten feet away. Ten feet. Ten feet. I'm standing right next to him. And then I just seep out the simplest little bit of green energy into this thing as it's smaller and smaller. So as his like orange field is up uh -huh. and he starts focusing on it, it's like becoming denser and denser as you're reaching out with this green energy. And it keeps getting smaller and smaller. Like a bullet? Tell me what it is. I'm just putting him to sleep. I'm just putting Toyo Rada to sleep. As simple as it can be. Don't need to do anything. Good night. You're trying to put Toyo Harada to sleep. That's it. With a plot point. He was boosted. Mm. I understand that. <laughs> it is a plot point, but it's also the most powerful side out in the world. I am going to make you roll that. The fact that you're still standing is why you're using a plot point. Because he needs me. That's why. Okay. What am I rolling? You're boosted. So, so it's going to be your power. But what's your power usually? Uh, D6, like, well, that one's a D20 because I roll, I don't ever roll that, like, my actual power, power is like. Right, 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 what's your power? D6. It's a D6, take that up to a D12. Okay. Yeah. His action is a D12, so this is Come a straight on. up roll off. This, just D12? This is a straight up roll off. Okay. 11. I kid you not. I fucking kid you not. A ten? 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 Oh! <laughs> Best rolls today! Season finale! Best rolls. Good night. And as Toyo Harada <laughs> falls backward, I as catch him. His hand and I look him in the up, eyes. And the green starts slicing through the energy field. There's a moment of him focusing as he starts focusing harder and harder. As he starts using up his energy, he was already weakened from reviving Rin. As you see the gray hairs get even darker and deeper and grayer as his skin begins to like sag and his face starts to sink in as his eyes then look up at you and you hear a thought in your head in that brief moment. I will find you and I will kill you. As he falls and Rin catches him. I catch him and I look him in the eye and I stroke his hair. I'm like, you guys need to leave now. Yeah, let's go, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. So you all get in the plane, and I'm gonna roll a d4. Whatever it lands on is how long he is asleep. You have two minutes of him asleep. As you all jump in the plane, and Ron is like merging with it and with all of his might, uh, and rolls really well on that, so it's now become like this super jetted. Oh no. You were! You were 30 seconds too late! You were 30 <laughs> seconds! 30 seconds! Ron, get us out of here! Fuck! Uh, yeah, so Ron... So Ron gets a plot point. Takes off. Uh, Ron... Ron takes off. Punch it, Chewie. Quickly up into the air. Uh, full, like, now jet engines roaring as you all are inside, just bracing with all your might as Roz is holding on to you and just bracing you as hard as you can. Um, he's like, I'm making contact with Jin. All right, I'm gonna find them. I know they moved. 
She's not gonna like bringing you guys in, but she, she, she'll know what's at stake. Um, I use, uh, I'm gonna use a plot point. Okay. Um, and in that moment, um, I'm feeling incredibly protective, um, and freaked out and sad, and, um, an admittedly OP version of Wally, um, who is, like, it envelops enough of the plane that Ron can still see out the window. Okay. And to do just... Just protecty. Armor, in case? Just armor. Okay. All right, you do have another... I know. ...plot point. Wow. Yeah. I would suggest finding something to use it on. I would suggest that. Um, so we cut back to standing in the field with you holding Harada in your hands as he eyes. Get up. Ren. Put he me left. down. Put, as he stands up and he starts to levitate a little bit as he looks at you. I'm disappointed in you. I know. I'm going to use a plot point right there. As he's about to take off, out of nowhere, an RV hits Harada and slams into him as he immediately just gets hit from the side and goes flying off into the side in the air. As the side door to the RV opens, Dumoko looks at you. Get in. Now. Uh, but, uh, now! Get in the car. As you get in the RV and spin out in the field and drive away. You my head's in my hands and I'm like, no, what did I just do? What did I just do? What did he just do? What did he do? As he's what driving and idea? you're in the front, he's got a hand on your shoulder. Shh, it's okay. It's okay. Who are you? I am the future. What? <laughs> Together? You and I? And the power group will make this right. Okay. Oh God. You're back in the plane now as you guys are getting over towards Vegas as he starts coming down into what looks like an a, like just an empty desert kind of place. <clears throat> okay. Uh, as the plane lands onto the ground and Jin comes rushing out and you see her kind of put her hands up and do this kind of thing as you guys see what looks to you like this giant closed in field kind of wall as she goes running up to Raza and you, oh my God, she's got her cane. You got her. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. She uh, like rushes some of her friends over to help as, a, as Raza with Fizzgig who kind of like looks over his shoulder and kind of like comes out of her clothes and like jumps down and runs over and jumps up in your arms as you're now holding Fizzgig. Thank you. You'll be safe here. Are you sure? No. But I'm doing the best I can. Sit. Ron told me what happened. Yeah, he's looking for us right now. Is it better if uh, if we leave? We can't do that. No. We need you. Okay. And I don't mean to fight for us. I mean, we need each other. I can protect you for now, but if Dumoko's right, It won't matter very soon. Okay. We need to be ready. To save as many of us as we can. Because most of us are gonna die. I can help with the fence. Oh, I have like a scary skeleton lady now. And I guess I'll make more pathways by Punching a tunnel <laughs> in that wall. Please don't make any more tunnels. Are you sure? We don't need any more tunnels. Okay. And on that, 
We close the story. Oh, b before that though, Demoko hands me a coat <laughs> and it's like, welcome. It's got your name on it. Yeah, it has, it my, says it has Rin my name on it, on it and it's all like beautiful and it looks just, just like He hands like it over and he's like, you'll be needing this. You'll, you'll need this to be part of the group. I love it. Yeah. I love it. <laughs> and that is where we close the story. The end. On oh the my power group. Maybe. That was so intense. I know, I thought you were dead. More intense I'm like, than I thought. This, this girl got herself killed. Oh I know. My Thank God. you guys. Hey, round of applause for everybody. For one round year. Round of applause for you, Zach. That was incredible wow. storytelling. Thank you guys. Wow. I'm just so happy that Javier got away with the money. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I telegraphed that too much, and I was like, fuck no, he's out of here. Man. He's gone. The chat figured it out immediately. They were like, yeah. you can't trust Zach. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to make sure that you didn't get kilted. <laughs> make Javier didn't kill? Get killed. No, yeah. well, his, his, his real name is Zach, but he oh, spells yeah. it weird with like a C, so mm -hmm. like no K, which I've never heard of. Yeah, he should have talked to his parents um, about that. Yeah, or like an H or something. I want to say thank you so much to the audience, the fans of this show um, who have watched it from the start to now. Thank you guys so much. Um, don't stop singing the show's praises. The more you guys talk about how much you enjoyed it, and how bad you want to see the power group again, the more Valiant will have to listen. Uh, technically, it is still all canon. Um, and I have one more scene for you. Ooh. One final post credit scene. In the University of Texas, outside of town, a lone individual sits in his dorm room who had answered a Craigslist ad to do some freelance editing who has been receiving from an FTP drive footage as he's been kind of going through it for the weeks, editing together your story. And he's now, this is about a month later, by the way, finishing up his first rough cut of the power group. He's heard no word from his employer, but along the way, he was so taken by your story and everything you went through and your final act to save Raza, and turn down Harada's offer that he puts together the film and enters it on every single platform that he can find because he thinks it's a story that needs to be seen and be told. This individual's name was Marcus. Oh, of course it was Marcus. As Marcus then becomes one of the most sought after <laughs> independent filmmakers in all the country Excellent for the story, story that he tells. He also did take credit for directing it as well. Uh, and release it online as it becomes a viral sensation, making you guys all the known heroes that you are, as many of the bad parts were cut out. Was Thanks, clever Marcus. Editing, Thanks, Marcus. Including enough evidence to clear Officer Pete of all charges Yay, of wrongdoing. And many others that you encountered along your way. As you guys have become a symbol of hope and triumph for many young Psyots that are finding themselves activated in this scary world. So you can thank Marcus for that. Thank you, Marcus. Thank you, Marcus. Fucking great, man. So thank you guys uh, so much. <laughs> Stella Chu in the chat, raise your hand if you died in this game. <laughs> you know how many people in that chat room have died in, in Valiant yeah, Vegas? Oh God. A lot of them. Uh, I raised my hand with a knife. Finally became here. Yeah, and at the very least, Classy Clandor did get executive producer, just not director. You know, he didn't have any say in the final edit process. because he did no, in memoriam. <laughs> in memoriam. <laughs> in memoriam for Classy Clandor. Whoops. Um... Thank you guys so much. This has really been a treat, um, but it is technically canon, and I'll be doing everything in my power to make Dinesh put you guys in there somewhere next Yay. year. Because this is all seriously leading up to Harbinger Wars, and I know things these guys don't know, and what you guys don't know, uh -oh. and uh, oh. holy shit, it's gonna be amazing. I can't wait for that book. Despite this show ending, Valiant and Hyper RPG are still technically partners, and you can probably bet that you'll be seeing another Valiant Summit here next year and many other opportunities for us to work together. So that relationship's not over. We just unfortunately can't afford to do the show anymore, such is the way of media and the way of things. But it's been an honor to do a year-long story with you guys. Thank you so much. Um, you know, and I think we should 
probably look at these Let's tips and yes. see what people were saying yeah. tonight. And I believe we get to give away this entire stack. Oh, nice. I think we hit it, right, Matt? Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. so we gave away a whole bunch of these Quantum and Woody comics that you guys are gonna sign. And I'm gonna be shipping out to one lucky individual who's gonna get active in the chat right now. I already did it. Wait, you got a winner? Yeah, for the Ooh. notes. For all the notes. Some... Uh, Jay Pistol. Oh, no! yeah! Yeah! <laughs> yes! Yes, yes, yes. That's so cool. Jay Pistol. Congratulations, you get all you, de you deserve these. <laughs> yeah, no, no. You deserve a look behind the curtain. Uh, and good luck trying to read any of this handwriting. That's awesome. That's great. That made my day right there. Uh, thank you, Jay Pistol and Void Smoker and Marcus and many other community members who honestly, like, you guys are what make it fun for us. Uh, yeah. Your fan art, your you know jokes, your your donations, all that stuff. It's what makes this really cool. It makes it a really great, cool experience. Uh, right. The fact that we kill you in game. <laughs> so this, this is the last right. chance for us to kill you in game. Yeah, Aww. and we did. It was great. <laughs> Uh, okay, let's get to this. Um, Kayun07, who got disintegrated by Harada, uh, got to help Zach out, hashtag lead narrator. Wilder1251 for Noah. J Pistol, let's start Johnny off with a plot point. Let's yeah. see what happens. Yeah. <laughs> Rilla, time to help lead narrator counteract the crazy stuff the power group is going to unleash. Geika, lead narrator needs a point. Seraphim21, in the words of Jay, let's see what happens. Yeah. Gonna, miss you, gonna miss you crazy guys, hashtag Karen. Jabberwockied, I need to help lead narrator tonight for when I take over Karen tonight and take down Marionette. Jabberwockied's still out there. Ooh, you can't finish great. up every plot line, unfortunately. <laughs> plot lo uh, Arislin, plot point for Rin so she can fulfill her desire to devour the rest of the power group to satisfy her eternal hunger. Oh, that was my secret thing that I was like totally, if you like had read my mind, it would have been like, I really want it like basically suck out all the power from all of you and that was my goal was to just like eat all of you. What made, no, wow. I love that and it's great because you went with Dumoko and you're about to be taken to the place you and I know all along you wanted to go which was Jin's hideout <laughs> with all the other sides. <laughs> oh, no. Most evil characters in the game was shady. me and this one just doesn't believe shady. anybody. Shady! The, the biggest shame about us having him in the show is how many things we had planned for her to fuck you guys I was up. so evil, it was ridiculous. <laughs> this one just wouldn't believe it. Damn. He had the veil over I wrote his it eyes. in at the very beginning was like, oh, she's gonna suck people's power, then obviously she's evil, so here's all the things I wanna do to them. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but the great thing now is if we can talk Eric into bringing all that to life. Hey. Uh, let's see here. Oh, but don't oh. kill me, cause that would be suck. <laughs> uh, Haywood for Karen, Cactuar Stir Fry. Thanks, cast and crew, for the amazing season. I can't wait to see what you do next. P.S. DK, I forgive you for squishing my head in the far away. <laughs> Uber Baldi, I'm a pretty swell guy. Hashtag lead narrator. Yeah, yeah you are. Numpty524, Noah, use Numpty. this to avenge me. I try, I did. Yeah. Uber Baldi, I, the legit real Uber Baldi, have decided to start my New Year's resolution of not trolling Zach early. Mm. Mm. Hashtag lead narrator. Uh, I think people were tipping as Uber Baldi. Oh, oh really? Oh, 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 oh. oh yeah, he said that was not me. Yeah, was make your own right. fun says, hashtag Rin, let's get everyone I would V20s. never donate to Zach. <laughs> <laughs> make some cool shit happen for the finale. Mr. Al, let's see what happens. Hashtag lead narrator. Mm. Nixia2134, Noah needs a plot point. Jabberwocky, Karen needs a plot point. We need to get the part where I possess her. Mm. <laughs> Jay Pistol. Oh, that'd be great. Jay Pistol says, if Jay won't save Rin, can Karen draw us a new cartoon Rin replacement? <laughs> yes. <laughs> KN07, you can't hold it against me. Zach made me kill you. Sorry, not sorry. It was only a contract. Uh, I am holding it against you. <laughs> Wrecker in the storm. Tell them what it means to be a hero. Hashtag Dego. By the way, Okay, when I'm done reading all these, I'll tell you guys some of the scenes that were in the documentary that we didn't have time to show you here. Oh. Uh, Wrecker in the Storm, tell them what it means to be a hero, hashtag DK, numpty524. Thanks to all for a great series. I'm looking forward to the new shows of the future that you all plan to be on. Hashtag DK. J Pistol, damn iffy, that was an amazing speech. Hashtag <laughs> yeah, DK. dude. Graphite Helix, DK, keep it real. Thank you for an awesome series. Nexia2134, DK needs a plot point too. Game of Joe B, fade to black. Davlin again turns into a boombox and the episode ends with a dance party. <laughs> Quick hug pile on lead narrator before he can run away. Hashtag uh, DK. Oh yeah. Void smoker, plot point for Karen. One last manifestation. 
Uh, Harada, hashtag lead narrator. Sage Topian, give me the juice. <laughs> and he got away safely. Uh, Mr. Isle for lead narrator. So certain things that were revealed in the editing of the documentary were that, yes, in fact, Javier did manipulate everyone in the end uh, and that it was actually Green Eyed Trombonis <gasps> that hired Kayun and made a deal with another organization that you don't know about yet but other people out there will know about next year, uh, to sell Raza over to them. Um, so it wasn't classy? Mm-mm. <gasps> Whoops. Wait, so how, why did Numpty betray him then? Yeah. Because he was down there with Javier, and Javier told him a bunch of things. <gasps> I knew it! Javier! Javier played Zach. the whole situation, and that was all revealed in the documentary that he Zach. manipulated everybody and convinced Numpty that... Uh, Clandor had set all that up, and that he should let him out, so he could, you know, call the power group to basically create a giant distraction, so he could steal the money and get away. Um, Whoops. So, <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much it. Great. Okay. Good times. Tight. Do you guys have any parting things you'd like to? This is the last episode. Any parting yeah. things you'd like to say? I want to say thanks for watching. It was fun entertaining all of you and being DK. Uh, lots of cool, and thanks for like telling your friends about it and talking about it. I went to Langer's the other day and the guy was like, DK, and I was like, yeah. And it was like, and it was like, I was like, oh, do you watch Hyper RPG? He was like, oh, no, my friends kind of told me. I was like, all right, well, watch Hyper RPG. <laughs> uh, so that was real cool. Um, but yeah, no, thanks for supporting us the whole way. Thanks for putting up with us. I know sometimes we can be busy, not get back to you all the time, you know. Uh, and, you know, just really cherish the show uh, since now you're stuck with pencils and parsecs, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I guess you can tell Joe Starr I said that too. Uh, um, yes, I want to say thank you. One, thank you to my secret Santa. I just Aww. noticed that Noah actually has a little singular pearl, which she Aww. has on her thing too, that they put on here. Um, <laughs> It was super great getting to do this every week. It was challenging at times, uh, fighting with this one too. Um, but I really you just won all the power. Yeah, you you two, as you would, as you should. Um, uh, but I really appreciate yeah. all of the gifts. Are my favorite thing ever. Like it's so exciting that I can like look at my name and see, and I see people using gifts of me to like this other people yeah. Yeah. to like put other people in their place. Yeah. Whoever does like the meta tagging for all of the gifts, thank you because yeah. I am finding myself in like so many different places from yeah. like Facebook to um, caffeine. Like I didn't know that I. I this is awesome. The comic of Joe B does a lot of it. Dude, uh, dude, I thank use those you. gifts on and the regular. And he did the Golden Girl um, video. Video. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, this was great. It was fun getting to have every range of emotion yeah. with everybody crying and laughing and anger and uh, love <laughs> and anger. <laughs> And anger. Wait, what is that on my face? <laughs> yeah, oh, I don't know. I was just trying to show you a good moment. She's <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, look at me. Yeah, yeah you derailed the whole combo. Thank you, everyone, for watching. Oh, so, um, I, I am so sad that I wasn't able to be on this show as long as everyone else. And I feel like I really, I, oh, God, I'm really sad that the show is over. Like, so sad. So, um, Let's make the next thing big and awesome because this was amazing and I've learned a lot. Um, I had so much fun with everyone and being able to hang out with you guys all the time. Like this was super, super awesome. And like you're all my senpais in this community. Like seriously, I never got to say that to you, but like seriously, all of you guys are like my senpais and I'm learning so much from you guys. Um, so yeah, this is yeah, really sad that this is over. <laughs> And like, thank you guys so much for all of your support. Seriously, like everyone who who came over from my Twitch channel to come watch this. Ah, yeah. baby, yeah. All your muscles are so I need lovely. to be in the hug. I'm just gonna hold yeah. you on your butt. Wait. <laughs> just on your butt. Oh get on my butt. This is where I live now. Wait, I need to get in there. <laughs> do you have any words, Jay? Uh, yes, I do. Oh, uh, you, I thought you were just gonna stay up, and now you're like, no, give me my moment. <laughs> No, no. <laughs> like this is sweet and all, but give me my moment. No, no, give no, I have my moment. moment. Excuse me, I gotta talk about myself. Uh, <laughs> it's 
too. Uh, so this was my first uh, Twitch uh, endeavor, uh, my first live stream ever. I didn't know what to expect, and I, I swear to God, this is one of the, the most lovely thing I did. Oh, guys, okay. are you listening to me? Excuse me. Excuse me. I, I gave you guys a moment. I paid full attention. You know, I was trying to give a compliment. It was like, compliments to yourselves. I'm sorry. Anyway. And I, I've adored every week and the chat, you guys have just in, inspired me and uh, uh, your positivity, your uh, engagement in the game, your interest, uh, all of this has just been overwhelming. And the story, I think, I think back and I'm like, man, what an adventure we've had. Uh, and I get emotional thinking about all the, the things we went through as the power group and the stories we've told and, and uh, just the, the constant fucking with Zach has been a treat. <laughs> Uh, and uh, I will miss it as Jay, and uh, I'll find other ways to do it as Johnny. Uh, <laughs> I'm sure of that. Yeah, and uh, but yeah, just all of you, man. I uh, I've been so stoked, and this has been so beautiful. So thank you guys so much, deeply, for this amazing experience. So, Aww, so cool. you sweetheart, Johnny. Two phones, two phones. Um, yeah, no, I, I oh, only um, two this week. Only, only two, two only not two three. <laughs> but yeah, I um I. Want to thank all of you who came over from all the other nonsense I do, um, and then everybody who followed me here to then that nonsense. Um, thank y'all so much. This has been so much fun, and one of the first things I got to do that made it so that I was able to become freelance and do more of this cool stuff, and like that would not have been possible if it wouldn't have been for all of your support and the support of everybody here. Um, so thank you guys for not making me have to be a paralegal anymore, because that fucking sucks. And, um, it's fine. The law is actually really fun if you know how to, if you know how to <laughs> work it. Right um, I, I have met um, some of my favorite people around this panel right now. Um, and I've, I've made some of the best friendships from doing the show. And yeah, this is just, this has been great. And thank you all for your support. And I can't wait to see what we do next. Yay. Yay, guys. So thank you so much once again. Uh, it really does mean the world to us. We're going to be doing our best to try to find more fun ways to keep going and doing cool stuff as a group for you guys and having a good time. Uh, you know, that's always our goal here is to have as much fun as possible and give you guys an escape from the fucked up shit that, has, that is the world. That's what we're here for, and hopefully we were able to achieve that on this show to give you guys a chance to just turn your brain off and have a good time with friends, because that's what this is all about. So thank you guys so much. On that thank note, you. tune in tomorrow um, for Blood Curdling Tales of Terror with uh, Cameron Rice and the Gauntlet and uh, all that good stuff. So it's going to be great. Thank you guys so much. Thank you. Bye. Bye.